Red Hot Chili Peppers on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Steve Merchant. Hello there. Carl Pilkington. Alright. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Uh, we, we might see a difference in Carl. He's a little bit shy. Um, there's someone here from the BBC filming this, part of that celebrity boxing thing. The fight, I think it's called, and they're, they want to get a little clip of this, so we're gonna let them film for a minute and then they're gonna go away. Is that alright, Carl? Yeah. He doesn't want to- he doesn't want to be on camera, do you? Do you? I think it ruins radio, doesn't it? <laughs> do well, not for the people listening, it doesn't. Yeah, but it does because people are like, oh, that, he sounds like a bit of a looker. <laughs> what, you do? Yeah. <laughs> and then they'll see it on the telly and they'll go, God, yeah, he, he, you know, his head is round. <laughs> <laughs> it is round though, isn't it? So. <laughs> Guess what? I got a call yesterday, um, you'll love this, Steve. Mm. From MTV. And, uh, I'm wondering if, um, they could screen test Carl. That's outrageous. I'm loving it. And I was going, yeah, and I come, I said, yeah, yeah, he's it, trying, I'll come down with him and I was, I was saying, what about this and that, and they were loving it. I called him and I went, oh no. I went, why not? He went, well, I'm looking at my reflection now in the mirror. He said, I, I shouldn't be on the telly. What would you wear for your screen test, Carl? What kind of look would you try and cultivate? Because you've got to bear in mind that the audience out there, they don't know what you look like. So, would you be a snappy dresser like, say, Jonathan Ross, or would you go for your kind of street can't, can't, look? Can't wear a suit. Don't, you can't wear a suit? Don't hold it well. Uh-huh. So, I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, I'll prob probably wear my woolly hat, cause that takes some years off me. <laughs> <laughs> it does, he looks about ten with a woolly hat on. Yeah. Okay. And, um, Do, is it quite a cool woolly hat, or has it got a bobble? It's charcoal, I'd say it's the in, in colour. Yeah, okay. Um, and I'll probably wear me, uh, me anorak. Right. Oh, 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 he's going for the. He's, got, he's, he's going, going for glam. An anorak, he's right? going for quite a glam <laughs> look. Oh, yeah. no one dressed for a jumble sale. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, yeah. But, but yeah. I'm not. I'm not that happy about it. All to be honest. You, are you going to do it? You're not going to do it. Well, I'm sort of stuck in the middle because throughout my life so far, <laughs> I've always just. I've never planned for anything. Right. Mm. Like, it's just always happened. Yeah. Yeah. The time, you know what I mean, being in plays at school, never planned it, but when I did it, I went down a store. It was that's triumph, yeah, we all remember that. So. We, I, as I remember, you did Little Donkey. Did Little Donkey, yeah. And um, then later, someone was filming at the back. Was it your dad's mate? My dad's mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And on the camcorder, he listened to it back, watched him playing it. His dad says, just off camera, what does he say? I don't want to say it because I'm in charge of the show and I'd be irresponsible. He looks like a right twat. <laughs> so, and so I, he gets I, I, home, just watching that, and then here's his dad just off camera go, he looks like a right twat. <laughs> yeah, alright, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you worried about? No, Your dad saying sorry, that the can word... I just interject, because I'm really worried about this idea of Carl being on MTV, because the problem is that, you know, let's be honest, Rick, I mean, we're, we're getting by the skin of our teeth, aren't we, really? It's yeah. only Carl that's keeping this afloat. Yeah. And if he gets on MTV and the world sort of gets a sense of him and they understand him and, and he, he won't be ours anymore, we won't be able to control him, it'll be out there, it'll be in the Well, that's, that's the thing, no, no, no. no, that's the thing, it, it, that's the terrible thing though, isn't it? It's like, Carl is my pet. But mm. I realise I've got to release him into he's the wild, sort of. And you know, because I love him, I know he's got to go free. <laughs> sure. But I yeah. wanna. I it's wanna like Kez. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> someone like... beat him to death, <laughs> and we won't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'll, I'll have uh, you on, though. I'll have you on as a guest. <laughs> yeah. which, oh, gets, which gets me on to something we've got coming up today. Oh right. yeah, he's got a new idea. Yeah. Right. Um, do you know, like I've talked about ghosts, and we had that good discussion the other week, walking to. Yeah. Piccadilly Circus Station, yeah, yeah, and I was telling you about ghosts and you were saying, Carl, don't be an idiot and all that. Uh, spoke to a woman in the week, done mm -hmm. a little interview with <laughs> You've her. done an little interview? Done Brilliant. a little interview, two minutes or so, with, okay. uh, with a woman who's, who's got ghosts in her house. <coughs> so, uh... I look forward to uh, hearing that later, that sounds got brilliant. Coming up later. Well, I'm gonna play a classic tune now. I've, I've just gone straight for it, I've gone for the jugular, this is Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. <laughs> Ziggy Stardust. By David Bow on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkerton. Carl's also nervous, because had a bit of shock last week, didn't you? Just a little bit. His, uh, his dad tuned in. To the show? Yeah. Um, and Carl's never told him that he actually speaks on the show, he just said, I just pressed the buttons, right? He's kept him from it. He used to do radio before and you never told him, did you? Mm. It's because of the little donkey incident. Yeah. When he went along, so well, it, Was that the, the twat incident? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's never told him since, but... But they've promised not to listen, haven't they? Well, my dad's- uh, uh, my mum said to me, don't worry, don't be put off this week, cause um, <laughs> you know, I've, no. I've, I've, I've told him he can't listen, but I hear my dad in the background kinda going, oh, looks. <laughs> so, he might be listening. <laughs> so that's extra pressure. Yeah. Lots of camera crew in. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You, well, you don't, don't like it, do you? Well, this is good training for MTV, cause then he can watch you on TV, I mean, what's he gonna make of that? Oh. Yeah. Does he know you're bald? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> you don't keep your hat on when you're with him and say, oh no, I'll just press the buttons. No, it's no. just, it's just, you know, it's like when, when I was in any plays I didn't tell him. No. Um, any sort of parents' evening, I never gave him the note. Uh -huh. <laughs> really? Yeah. So what did the teachers think? You were just an orphan? No, just on an off chance, um, my mate's dad spoke to me dad once, I think, and sort of said, oh, you're going to school to see how, you know, your kid's doing. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> so there's a parents' evening, so he went- <laughs> said what kid? He went to one, and that's when Mrs. Matthews said I'd never be a high flyer. <laughs> <laughs> Was she? Yeah. Well, I think we should call Mrs. Matthews and make her eat her words. Well, <laughs> ah, she'll turn on to MTV when uh, I don't know, that, like their their slamming session. Yeah, yeah. and they're, they're going, that's young Pilkington. <laughs> He's bald, but it's definitely him. I, <laughs> I recognise that Willie Hack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, did you see <laughs> Celebrity Fit Club yesterday? I missed it. I didn't watch any TV this week. The only what TV I watched was um, Are You Good in Bed. I already knew the answer. What was it? Do you had to have to tick points. Yeah, yeah. Right. It was no. <laughs> <laughs> I was off the scale. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking off the scales, Rick Waller. Really? Yeah. Is he off? What's well, happened? what he did is he lost. He lost weight, and they couldn't believe it. And he had a big argument with Harvey, and they said go, never come back to it. Right? And then he got to weigh, and then he'd lost sort of like ten pounds or something. Mm. And uh, they were really. They said you've been starving yourself, haven't you? And he admitted it. And um, <laughs> I thought he just wasn't wearing his underpants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but he's, he was whinging all the time. He was watching it. He was doing a press. It was going. I've hurt my arm. He was going. I feel sick. And he was going. Um, and he was just lying all the time about whether he was doing the routine and what about what he was eating and stuff. And I thought that's me. Yeah, this it, like you. it is it because like it's sort of like. And they go, how's it going? Do you have another drink this week? I'm mean, like, I go, no. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had a beer this week. No. <laughs> Did you do the exercise today? And I go, yep. Yeah, I've done all that. Done all that. Done all that. Yeah. And I try and get out of the sparring because it hurts because there's a man hitting me in the face for fun. Right. Because um, you, you know that's what boxing is. So, yeah, that is being that? hit, I yeah. I'm I, like all the, I like all the bits except the being hit. I don't even mind hitting someone. Right, I'm so you- I'd be willing to hit someone. Uh -huh. It's the getting hit that I don't like. Because I know you're a big fan of, um, like wearing the clothes, the sort of sporty gear. I'm I know looking you, you, good love, you, you look good and you've, got, you've obviously switched they've, back they've, there, they've, 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 no, no, they gave that's me this free, that's free charge. That, this was free so for training. That's a perk you love. So, uh, And I know yeah. you like, um, kind of the, uh, the sort of various sort of nutritional drinks you've got to drink. I know you're a big fan of those. I love the protein shake because mm. it tastes like chocolate. Mm. You know what? I've put on a couple of pounds since <laughs> I've been doing this training. I think it is the extra meal and, uh, So you're adding the protein but not- Yeah. Out enough to, to take it off again. Yeah, but I, th I think I've um I have actually changed a bit. I've got a, a, an inch on my chest, but an inch off my waist. So right. even though I've put on weight, uh, there must be a little bit of muscle happening uh -huh, uh -huh. somewhere. So I just so just to, to, to recap that slightly, you're 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 enjoying all the trappings of boxing. Yeah, but not the boxing, not the getting hit in mm -hmm. the nose. Right, that's the one. And you are aware that that's what will what what will be happening during the, the actual no, fight because that's... I've got a cunning plan. Okay, I'm gonna. Duck and dive. Just, yeah, okay. and bob and weave. Dance. Uh -huh. I'm gonna dance. Well, I read in the paper yesterday. I don't know how much truth there is that uh, Grant Bovey has recruited celebrity hypnotist Paul McKenna <laughs> to help him win. <laughs> Yeah, so it could I be don't true. know if that's of any truck. Because I know you've got, haven't you got Berm, you've got uh, Spit the Dog. <laughs> I've got a couple of ventriloquists <laughs> <laughs> and an impressionist on your side. <laughs> 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 I've got Pork Boy from Desmond. Yeah, exactly. Just yeah. getting me chained. Yeah, in your corner. Yeah. Mentally. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know. It's all a bit of fun. What do you reckon, Carl? What do, you, do you think he's. Uh, well, what's, what's McKenna going to be doing? Is like Grant Bowie going to be turning into a chicken and. You know yeah, what I mean? He's gonna do an Elvis impression. Yeah. And take off <laughs> if I say the right words. No, I think it's probably, he's probably gonna just help yeah, him focus and- Yeah, and, and, yeah, yeah I, I think there's, there's lots of sports psychologists out there at the moment getting people, so I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure it's valid. If it's true, I'm sure it's, uh, oh. fine. But, um, I've been, I've been, I've been getting tuned mentally learning how to hit. Yeah. Uh, that was my method. Eating and hitting. I think is. And do you work out to any of the music? I mean, do you put on the Rocky soundtrack? Because I know you've got, um, no, a CD with all, with music from the, all five films, haven't you? No, we don't. It's all, it's, um, I think they have the radio on down there, but you don't hear it. It's, uh -huh. all you hear is people shouting, saying things like, that's not like a fighter, and me going, I'm not a fighter, yeah, I'm a yeah. comedian. And is it quite intimidating down there? I mean, do they, yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're nice it's, people, but I'm, is it I'm like getting used to it now, but it's, it is, it is, it is a different world, and I was quite scared, and I, I didn't When like you say it's a different, I mean, is it like, is it like they're gangsters? I mean, is it kind of- No, I don't no, mean, I just no, mean, no. is it got that feel? You know when you see it in films, they walk into those places and, you know, they're kind of, they're hard nuts and there's that feel like- Well, they're, I mean, they're, they're, they're all, you know, they're all Xboxes and stuff, so yeah, yeah. But, I mean, but no, they're not, they're not, no, no, that's not, that's not, I mean, I, I suppose it's like they're real men. <laughs> well, yeah, and, um, they, they, they don't understand, really, that I'm, I don't like getting hit on the nose, and they say, mm. well, no one gets hit on the nose, and it took me a long time to get over that, just, just taking a couple of punches. Yeah. I, I wanted to rule it out, 
Yeah. And, uh, um, but, you know, it, it's okay now. And, of course, they're, I know they're mollycoddling me. They're not, they're yeah. using about 25% power. But, yeah. And I'm still. And you I'm wear the headgear, do you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and the gum shield, yeah. yeah. I wanted to wear a crash helmet. <laughs> right. But they yeah. said no. And carry a baseball bat. And they yeah. said that's, that's technically <laughs> illegal. <laughs> but, um, I'm looking for, I'm a changed man, Carl. What we got coming up? Got a bit of a, uh, Death in Vegas with vocals from Liam Gallagher. Final question for you, Rick. Do you on. think you'll carry on boxing after <laughs> this is finished? Competitively. No, 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 just the training and stuff. Yeah, and I, I do, do the you training. Think so? Yeah, no, I love the, I love the training. I love learning the, the skills and I, and I do enjoy the training. I don't, I, I don't relish getting punched around. And, I, and I'm not worried about the fight at all. I'm really looking forward to the, the fight because, um, Grant's a novice like me. It's just when you get in with an ex-pro who you know could destroy you. <laughs> yeah, any, yeah, yeah. So you're scared of it. And, 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 you know, they never lose their rag and they're really cool and they're really nice and they've never, act, they've never even hit me by mistake. But even just tapping you like that in the yeah. face hurts. I just, I was walking down Finchley Road and a couple of sixth formers said, oh, you lanky gog like freak. And I just wondered if maybe you could pop round <laughs> and have a word with them. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. Or with some of your friends. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, an enemy of yours is an enemy <laughs> of mine. Good. Scorpio Rising, Death in Vegas on XFM 104.9. Steve, mm -hmm. I'm Ricky Gervais. Carl, Carl's a little bit more, less stressed now. There's ca a camera crew have gone, his dad's not listening, we think. Well, yeah, who knows? Mm. Who knows? But, uh, you're chilled. I tell you what though, me, uh, my mum was loving it. Do you, know, she, do you know Rockbusters? I love. Do I know Rockbusters? Oh. I love Rockbusters. She's, I think uh, I dream of it. She was taking part. I mean, she doesn't know a lot of the, the new bands and that. Mm. But she uh, she made some up for uh, some older bands and that. Oh, she she did some herself. She made some herself. Sent them in the post. So are you going to use those today? Um, she's not quite got the hang of it. That's okay. oh, well, unlike unlike her genius son. Have you got them there? Can we hear what they well, are? Do you keep talking a second then? I'm quite excited. I mean, if they're if they're even approaching, say, the genius of Wet Knee Houston. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Uh, there was another one which was something to do with a trench, Carl. What was that? I oh, that was Dandy Warhols. That was a good one. Dandy Warhols. That, I think yeah. that was his, that, that was, was his finest moment. Yeah. yeah. Incidentally, I've got an email here from, uh, someone called Sauda, if that's a he or a she, but let's assume it's a she, just for, uh, glam's sake. Yeah. Um, she says she saw an old man eating a Twix last week, Carl, so that blows your theory out the I'm not having it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you are a bloke, he's calling you a liar. So, maybe you want a little rumble later? In fact, if you are a bloke, he's calling you a girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah then. Um, <laughs> these are ones that my mum's made up. Um. Brilliant. Right, just in case you're a new listener, I'll give some initials out and a cryptic clue. And, and it makes up a band, doesn't it? Yeah. Or a solo artist. Yeah. Or a solo Not artist. so much cryptic as w what, what you're thinking. Well, yeah. go on. Uh, my mum sent this one. Uh, this group would be good at doing your hair. <laughs> this group would be good at doing your hair. TP. Uh, is, there, is there a group called the hairdressers <laughs> from the 60s? This group would be good at doing what? your hair. TP. 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 Is it the something? The platters. The platters. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, all right. Yeah, so that's, that's all right. Nice. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, this group sound like dinosaurs. Group sound like dinosaurs. T Rex. T Rex. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. They're not so much cryptic, are they? Uh, this group. <laughs> they're, they're, alone. they're good. This group <laughs> likes being uh, by the sand and the and the sea. <laughs> this group likes being. Are <laughs> the, the, the Beach sea. Boys? Boy, beach boys. <laughs> 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 this band are called the Beatles. Uh, the Beatles. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> we just have, just uh, have a. a the, <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Um, <laughs> it's oh, funny because because one of them that she's done, I'm actually doing today. I thought of in the week. Right? So, is it the same clip? Uh, it was. Yeah. Well, wow, great minds think alike. Here's so the last one. Here's the last one from a. This guy sounds superb. <laughs> this guy sounds superb. The Bachelors. Glenn Campbell. <laughs> 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 <I'm not bad. laughs> That's good. I like that. I think I tell you this. I think you should get onto one of the big game uh, organisations, Parker Brothers or whatever, because this has got to be. T I mean, this could sweep the nation at Christmas. Don't you think this is the perfect <coughs> Christmas game? Yeah. Well, I think this is what's going to make or break the MTV thing. Right. <laughs> Some kind of TV version. Yeah. Uh, I'm just yeah. thinking mm. into ad breaks, you know, coming up next is this band. Be careful though, Carl, because, you know, make sure you retain the rights, because I can see this selling abroad. You yeah. Know, you and I can America. see someone coming along and taking the sort of like the, the, the rock busters and changing one word and like another na like another game out of it and just what, what using they, the same format. What I don't know, I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I can't think of another, but they could change. So sort, sort of like. They change yeah. the word rock to something else and have it. What could it be? Brick block? Yeah, and so you have to, yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah, block be busters. careful. Block yeah. Buses will never work. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his little face. So, uh, so yeah, so we're doing that later. Got some good prizes. Okay. We'll you talk about the prizes we'll talk about that a bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, educating Ricky. Yeah, got, got that. that. We've got the woman who's got a ghost in her house. Yeah. 
It's a shame she's not here live because I feel like I want to ask a few questions, Rick. I don't know about you. Don't uh, worry, I've covered it all. You've covered it all. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Play a record. Rick, um, I know probably you like me are just too busy really to keep abreast of new music, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, we're busy people. We got you know important showbiz parties to go to and stuff. That's why I have friends of mine who send me compilations and stuff. That's one of my yeah. uh, quarterly compilations from my friend Harry, and that's all downhill from here by Jim O'Rourke. I've got a new track coming up later actually that oh, I think you might like. So uh, you know we're we're um. We're inflaming each other's desire for new <laughs> songs as well as going back to the back catalogue of some classics. Sure, sure. All sure. right? <laughs> I love adverts better though. <laughs> so I do. I love adverts. It's weird. <laughs> Excellent. Missy Elliot on XFM 104.9, Orchid Gervais with me, Steve and Carl. Mm. Carl, why have you got a headache? You got a headache? Just a bit stressful because the moves, moves on this, uh, this week. Are you leaving house? Oh, by the way, uh, the XFM listeners came round to my house and bought the, uh, feet on the table. Did they? Well, they're happy with it. Quite normal. They were well happy. Yeah. Couldn't believe the look with it. What do you mean quite normal? What do you mean quite normal? Well, it's always a bit scared, isn't it, getting, getting people round. I imagine they were scared. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and were they excited to see you? Could they, I mean, they were, you know, could you tell that they were pretty pleased to see you? No, I don't think so, I mean. You know, you're Carl Pilkington. Yeah, but I, uh, the, the fellas sort of, I mean, they brought the whole family round, which was a bit odd. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not often they get the chance to, to visit a living freak. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, no, uh, they, were not, they were nice. They and were nice. you're moving now, yeah. He said he phoned me up today. You know, it was absolutely tipping it down. <laughs> he had to cycle it in. Because <laughs> he said, because of the move, he doesn't want to leave his bike around there. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> he said, and uh, Suzanne, oh, I can't say this in case he's listening, can I? He won't know, will uh, he? He said, he said, Suzanne's hired the oldest removal man in London. You should hear him. <laughs> and the thing is, right, we ah. booked him, we booked him because everyone else happened to be booked out, but this fella's free, right? So he called up this morning, <laughs> I've never spoke to him, but he was on the phone, he sounded about 90. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't think that he's gonna have to do all the work. And the, and the thing is, <coughs> we, well, it, it seems he, to be All cheap. he wanted some Werther originals. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. listen. <laughs> It seems to be cheap because it's fifty pound an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but how long is it going to take him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so genius. When, when's the move on then? When's the end? Oh, he's coming right. He came round today to bring some empty boxes, and he was struggling with them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, oh, it, it actually well. happens on Wednesday. Oh God. Anyway, oh. so. Um, Bruce, well, I noticed that you were laughing and almost had a heart attack. <laughs> Doesn't bode well for the boxing match, I've got a car for the moment, and I? I've had my limbs it. Anyway, what are we doing now, Carl? Well, oh. um, I teased you with it before. Mm. Um. <coughs> you gonna get it out again? I, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like trying to get you, you know, thinking, opening, opening your mind Legs. up a bit to, to <laughs> ghosts and stuff. Yes. So, um, this woman who I know. She, uh, she said she'd come in and I could interview her to try and sort of, you know, get the belief out there. Okay. Um, so Yeah, there's not I'd enough belief in the occult and rubbish out yeah. there. So, so does she, she think she has a ghost? <coughs> she has, yeah, she's, she's, she's had a few. She has, no, it's fact. <laughs> yeah, no, so, yeah, she has. So I thought maybe it's a new feature we could try for a couple of weeks, see how it goes down. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know Parkinson? Uh-huh. What about Pilkington? <laughs> Welcome to, uh, Pilkington. Thank uh, you. My guest today is Taryn, she's a plugger. Uh, you're still a plugger, right? No, I do co-management. Right, now. she does co-management, but she was a plugger, she looked after Therapy, Raging Speed On, Slash, all the big names, yeah? Um, but we're not here to talk about music today, we do a lot of that on XFM. Today we're talking ghosts. Now, Ricky and Steve, who I do the show with, they, uh, they're not having any of it. So, I said, well, I know someone who, uh, you know, gets on with ghosts, there's a lot of them. Um, so I thought I'd get you in today, have a little chat for a couple of minutes, uh, just to sum up the story so they get an idea of what happened. Um, you had a horse, yeah? You had it in some stables. Yes. He hasn't there to speak yet. Uh, you went to, like, look after it and that, play yeah. around with it, take it for a ride and that. Riding, yeah. yeah. Um, two of your mates were in the stable where your horse is. Not my stable, in the opposite but stable. In the opposite stable. And I heard them giggling and They're messing about and that, yeah. You heard them having a laugh. So you thought, right, what are they up to? So you go in and they're messing about with a Ouija board. Yeah. Right. 
So, this is where you come in. Did you get involved with the Ouija board? Unfortunately, I did. Right. And what happened then, then? I was like, oh, you don't believe in this. Oh, let me have a go. Right. And, uh, ask a few questions, put our hands on, and it actually started moving. So a lot of the stuff you asked it, has that, did the things happen that yes, you asked? Yes, they did. Right? So that's scary for a start, right? We haven't even got to the ghost beat yet. So you mess about trap with that. Trap soul, yeah? I like to call it. Right, him. trap soul. So you're messing about on the Ouija board, you say, right, I've had enough of this now. Yeah. I've got all the answers I need. Yeah. You go home. I didn't like them. <laughs> you go in the house and it's a bit nippy. The house, the flat is absolutely fine. It's when I went into the bedroom. You've got to remember, it's a very, very warm, hot evening. Right. And walk into the bedroom and no, note it is cold. Colder than usual. But I'm actually quite glad because it's so hot. Right, okay. Completely ignored the fact that the windows were all shut but the curtains were blowing. Didn't sleep well at all. Right. Next evening, same again. Freezing. Yeah, Wind. very, very noticeably cold. Curtains uh, blowing. Yeah, I'm fast asleep, get woken up, the wardrobe's opening. So, at this point, this is where we clear up, you're not, you're not on crack, you're not- No, never touched drugs in my entire life. You're not a drinker. No. Um, I have the old glass of red wine. Yeah, right, that, that's, that's alright, they recommend that anyway. They say it's good for your heart. What started happening was, as the week progressed, I also felt the bed covers at one point at night fold over, double bed, the bed covers fold over and it was like someone was getting in the bed next to me. But you've got to remember when you're in a deep sleep, yeah. you're not quite thinking and you're thinking, I'm losing it. <sighs> I was getting more and more tired, more and more a little stressed and really thinking I was having a breakdown. The final straw was when the clothes on the end of my bed that I just throw hit me. How come you were going back home at night? Because I was sceptical. In fact, six months ago I said, I, I don't want to go there, people will think I'm mad. But do you know what? I don't care. Yeah. I know there's more out there. Well, brilliant. Well, cheers for that and, uh, thanks for being a guest on, uh, on Pilkington. <laughs> Incisive <laughs> investigative journalism there. I like the fact that you've learned a lot from Parkinson, even stealing some of his questions, like, are you on crack? Which <laughs> yeah, I know he always yeah. asks his guests. Yeah, yeah. I like the fact that when she went, I don't know, I have the occasional red wine, goes, well, that's all right for you. Good for your art. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. It was brilliant. Although that is I the feel... best interview technique I've ever heard anywhere. I, I feel like there's still some questions unanswered. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't proved it to me, I'll be honest, <laughs> no, Carl. It hasn't proved me the existence of of ghosts I have to say, Rick, I was, I was worried as soon as she got involved with the Ouija board. I yeah, was yeah, 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 I was yeah, thinking, please yeah, do not get yeah, involved with that Ouija yeah, board. Yeah, 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 I was worried when said I heard some giggling from coming from the other stable. Yeah. Don't yeah. go over there. <laughs> yeah. Don't go over there. <laughs> it's, uh, what, uh, questions did she ask the Ouija board? You didn't ask her that, I noticed. She didn't, she didn't want to. She didn't want to say? No. Okay. Do you think it was something like why that you did to try and confuse the computer mm. and the spirit world got mm. really annoyed and they yeah. got confused and they came back and started messing up her clothes? <laughs> but what, what do you think then? There's, there's what do you mean? What well, do you mean, what do I think? What do you think? Do you what, know what, I mean? what, what, what about what? what there's, there's nothing I can answer there. There's nothing I can answer. All right, she said- Well, she I'll just keep saying I don't believe in the existence of ghosts because of the impossibility. Right. Now, when she said, I mean, the interview I did for 50 minutes. You did for how long? 50 minutes. 50? Five thought, minutes? Yeah, we might use that Christmas or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but the thing is- Well, that's right? the best you got out of 50 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, they're the highlights! <laughs> no, I'll be honest. <laughs> MTV are not gonna call again. <laughs> I'll tell you what, right? It did get a bit dark and uh, I didn't want- I didn't want that Don't sort of stuff going out, right? Saturday afternoon, yeah. But, um, I can- I can understand the heating thing. I said, well, you know, in the full interview I was saying, you know, that could- that could be anything, could it? Heating broke or something. Mm. Mm. Now, she said the, the, uh, what else was she talking about? Someone got into the bed next to her. Yeah, I mean, I sort of said, well, um, you know, how did that happen? Yeah. And she couldn't explain it herself, but sure, I said, sure. but, but it did wake you up. Maybe you're mm. a little bit sort of, oh, but yeah. still Although the only explanation I can think of, if she didn't actually see anyone, is whether it was a ghost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well that She's was She's probably got a ghost but getting what, but in But what about cupboards opening and shutting? See, that's, that, again, the only explanation for that is a ghost. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I can't think of anything else. Play a record. It's mm. gotta be a ghost. Yeah, it is ghost. I think you've proven it to us. Yeah. A spirit. Yeah. Street spirit? Yeah. Nice. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Street Spirit. Radiohead. So, turns out ghosts do exist <laughs> yeah. after all, Steve. A woman what Carl knows proved it. I've got egg on my face. Yep. On XFM. Instantly, Rip, I should gone. just encourage you and everyone else listening. Oh, really, I've got egg on my face. Is that what you're gonna say? Yeah, I've just been <laughs> eating an omelette. James Randi, a yeah. hero of yours and a hero yeah. of mine, yeah. he's on TV this week on Horizon, I think it's maybe Thursday, check press for details, trying to expose the nonsense that is homeopathy. Oh, yeah, I saw that, yeah. So, uh, I look forward to that. Do you know what that is, Carl? Oh, go on. Um, they got a theory that um, if you say say you got something uh, 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 an essential oil or something or, uh, uh, in a solution, uh, one in ten solution, and it does something to you, actually does something to you. Um, they've got this thing where they dilute it, dilute it to so there's nothing in it, but because they're using the same water, and the 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 dilute the water still has the same effect. It's sort of like it's sort of like a placebo that you know works. We're, you know, that's the sort of theory of it. Mm. What time's that on? <laughs> uh, check the papers, but I think it's, uh, sort of nine o'clock Thursday, something mm. like that. Mm. It'll be interesting though, Carl. It will be interesting, mate. Trust me. I'll tell you what's also interesting, Rick. The prizes we're giving away this Go week on, on uh, Rockbusters. We got for you, uh, David Attenborough's The Life of Mammals. I don't know, is this a new show? Is this on TV at the moment? Is this like yeah. a new thing? Uh, so that looks good. It's like a, uh, double VHS thing there. Um, we've also got a U2, the best of their, um, 90s videos. Uh, even better than the real things on there. Mysterious Ways, Beautiful Day, Electrical Storm, the new one. Stuff on there, that's on the video. Uh, we've also got a couple of CDs, The Smashing Pumpkins. I think this is sort of alternative versions of a lot of their hits and stuff, live yeah, versions live stuff and, and, and stuff like this. Johnny Cash's current album, possibly his last, uh, we don't know because apparently he's, he's not very well at the moment. So, uh, an uh, album of covers. Yeah, well not all covers, some of his new stuff as well, oh, but he's done, them. uh, covers of things like Personal Jesus by Depeche Mode mm. and Desperado, um, and Bridge Over Troubled Water. And the great thing about Cash is I read an amazing review where it says it's like he always makes them his own, do you know what I mean? It's like you can't even remember the old version. Desperado by the Eagles? By the Eagles, yeah. Uh, could I, I'd like to play that, to yeah, hear well, that, because uh, I haven't heard that, we'll play we'll that and then give it away. These are actually good prizes, Carl. We've also got, um, uh, including a small, uh, miniature three-wheel car, uh, an Only Fools and Horses video. I think this is the, uh, special that was on Christmas TV last year. So if you're one of the, uh, the people who didn't see it, I mean, wasn't it like 22 million people yeah, watching? Yeah, ridiculous, yeah. If you're one of the people who, you know, desperately wants to see it again, I know I do. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and wants a small yellow car. And small, also wants a small in. yellow car. Then, uh, then there it is. And, uh, also, another of these, um, compilations, arbitrary compilation albums, the best chill-out album ever, Rick. Sure. Um, if you're a fan of the Levi's Freedom ad, I then love the <laughs> Levi's Freedom ad. Then uh, the track that I hate the music has. to it though. No, 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 well that's a shame because <laughs> it's, it's, got, it's included <laughs> on here. <laughs> Rick, how much do you love the Volvo TV ever? Love it, love it. Because that hate uh, the music again though. Why? That's a shame because oh, that's, it, that oh, track is also on Oh, okay, sure, sure. But there's also sure. stuff on here. There's some interesting stuff. There's Pink Floyd. Yeah. There's Coldplay. There's Roy Scott. So um, you know, it's probably worth. I it. love Pink Floyd. Except the music again. <laughs> so we've got a bind for me. That's a whole heap of treats and there. That, and and right? the, that's the winner of Rockbusters. That's the winner of Rockbusters. Coming up week. after the adverts. Okay. Yeah. Doves caught by the river on XFM 104.9. We're into the second hour now. This is when this award-winning show really kicks into gear. The when last you say award-winning, uh, we, we haven't won them yet. I mean, it, uh, it, we will win some. Hang on, let me remind you. Uh, listen, there are bronze in the Sony Awards. Oh yeah, we got a bronze. We got I don't got go bronze. I don't it doesn't think count. count. No. no, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. Um, uh, I'm Ricky Gervais, obviously, with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington, which is uh, what Heat write about, really. Uh, Carl's the main man. Think of Carl a year ago. He was just sitting in that room, going, "All right, all right, I've done this." <laughs> XFM. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a music bed. Brilliant. Comes on the show, we start taking the piss out of him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People start going, oh, who's the, who's the idiot you've got in? And we go, it's Carl. And they yeah. go, we like him. He's a, he's a fool. I go, yes, he's a fool. <laughs> he's a pet buffoon. And they go, we'll let him speak more. Right? And they're going, don't let him talk, don't let him talk, XFM, the, the fat cats. Oh. And I said, I'm a rebel and I'll do it my way. Rick, I asked, did you stick it to the man? Yeah, I yeah, was my yeah. Way. And then MTV call up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Heat are writing about him every week. Yeah, he's just been doing film for the BBC. There's some rumours he might be the new James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got he's, uh, he's got is he in lovely McVitie's original digestives? Are we allowed to? Can I? Uh, if McVitie's are listening, I love these biscuits. Yeah, um, yeah. and uh, and he's got the best. <laughs> if the Spearmint <laughs> Right Now strip clubs are listening, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> right, and he's got rockbusters to come. Yes, Let's do it. I should just ask, the, the few people who asked me this, uh, and there's also an email here from Rich, people are saying they've seen some of the posters and the adverts of, uh, advertising the show, plugging the show, why isn't your, why aren't you on the posters, Carl? And it is your choice, isn't it? We did ask, uh, Carl to be involved, but Well, he, he is actually, it's he like, refused to do where's it. Waldo? He's actually, <laughs> he's, there, he's, he's, he's in my trousers. <laughs> 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 Look, Carl, you don't like having your photo taken, do you? You don't want, you don't, you don't, you're not seeking the publicity. 
Yeah. I reckon you are secretly. Like, I don't believe you. No, right. he's right. He's totally right. He's doing it just right. But I think there's a, there's a fine line to be drawn that you know if if you like being in you know around radio, you got a, and you, you want your own show or, or you enjoy talking and they just happen to be filming you for MTV, that's different. I think what you just avoid is going to silly celebrity bashes, having your picture taken for the sake of it. I mean, I think you're right, but I think you should do the screen test. On a serious note, I think you should do the screen test. Just cause it might be fun and if it's no good they won't do it. And you can stop any time you want. Yeah, no one has I'm, to keep I'm going on telly. I just think we're gonna lose him. No, no. We won't lose him. Listen, right? I'll always be part of this. <laughs> I just worry that you're gonna get- you're gonna exhaust yourself, you're gonna be drained. You're gonna have told all your anecdotes he, on He MTV. certainly will have uh, if he has to help the old fella upstairs with a yeah, bed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fifty pounds an hour. Oh. That's well, terrible. Go on. But, so- But I'm- I'm- what I wanted to do, right, cos I don't want to embarrass myself, right? Mm. I don't want to embarrass the woman at MTV when I turn up and she thinks, oh, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> what a waste of film this is gonna be, cos it's not cheap. I know sure. that. It's not film either, but go on. Well. It won't, but it is cheap, it is cheap. They're, they're, they're filming on a DV camera that they can go over. Uh, if it's no good, they won't show it to anyone. It'll be great. It, it's just what they want you. Honestly, I can just see you doing little things, just like popping up, you know, between the records and going, all right, uh, MTV, uh, music television, hear about the airy Chinese kid born, which is weird, isn't it? Because they're not usually airy. And it just goes, <laughs> MTV. It'd be brilliant. It'd be brilliant, Carl. Yeah. If I, I'll come down with you, I'll come down with you. Well, we'll see. We'll, Go on. We'll think about it, right? Go on. Um, right, Rockbusters. So, Rockbusters, um, we, you know, it's a little clue, some initials, three different clues. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, you can win the, the load of stuff that we've got. So, um, first one, um, here's the clue. Stop throwing that fruit about. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. What's the initial? That's CB. 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 Stop throwing that fruit about. Yeah. Right. Is Anders listening? Has he emailed us in yet? Anders, not had, a, not had any response from Anders. I'll keep uh, keeping. Maybe he hasn't stopped listening because right. he doesn't like the show. He's gone off. He hasn't gone off the show. <laughs> so so uh, the second one, um, that Scottish fella has made an error. That Scottish fella has made an error. Yeah, that's Interesting. that's M. M. Right, right. that right. Scottish fella has made an error. Right? Okay. And uh, the last one, uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with M. <laughs> You can make a right load of toast with them. Yeah. All right. What's the and that's, there? that's G. G. I was thinking it might be bread for a minute, but no. Mm. G. So, uh, so just very quickly, stop throwing that fruit about, CB. <laughs> I've got, I've got the last one. All right. Scottish fella. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't count. Doesn't count. Well, that Scottish fella's made an error. That's M. And, uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with them. That's G. Email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and you can- We've got the CDs, we've got horses, we've got mammals on VHS, we've got U2, uh, we've got a couple of CDs including Johnny Cash. Here's a new tune from a, a, a new fella called Papa Garcia. See what you think of this. Uh. See, if he was on MTV I couldn't say his name. Why? What is it again? Papa Garcia. Right, here's a new one from Papa Garcia. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> Papa Garcia, Natalie and Nusi from uh, the forthcoming album Bring Me the Head of Papa Garcia. Catchy that. Hmm. Quite retro, it's a bit of a bit of Alton John and all sorts of strange. Yeah, 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 lovely. Um right, here we go. Just quick clues again. And then uh, we better do uh, educating Ricky. Oh, well, this is the favourite bit of my sh the show for me now. Educating Ricky. I love it. I can't. Well, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm well, an anxious all week. Well, just quick, quickly on those clues, just in case people need to know again. Uh, stop throwing that fruit about CB. That Scottish fella's made a bit of an error. M. And, uh, God, you can make loads of toast with M. That's, uh, G. Oh, right. brilliant. Ricky.gervais <laughs> at xfm.co.uk. It's email only. Oh, yeah. I need some learning. I need some knowledge, Carl. Well, Educate me. I might be able to help you. Go uh, on. Uh, we've got three things, as always. I give them a little, uh, mm. head into tease you uh, yeah. as to which one you want to learn first. Yeah. Uh, first one is, uh, is the tip included? Is the tip included? Mm. Like it. Um, second one. I want to come here in hindsight. Right. I wouldn't have come here in hindsight? Yeah. Okay. And the third one, am I gonna have to thump you? Am I gonna have to thump you? Mmm. Okay, and you've trolled, what, the internet? So, I, 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 so, I, so if I can get into the mindset of this plan, uh, is the tip included? Well, obviously, that's probably not gonna be about a wait. It's gonna be like, is it that, if that's someone losing the end of his knob, I assume, um, am I gonna have to thump you? That's a man who, Lost his arm in a fight, but then picked it up with the other arm and smacked him <laughs> with it. Um, what was the middle one? I want to come here in hindsight. Hindsight. 
Heinz. Heinz well, sight? Uh, yeah, uh, it, yeah, it's someone was blinded by baked beans. Sure. So what are you going for then? Uh, I think I'd better go for, um, I'm a gonna have to thump you. All right, well this isn't- I've been struggling again, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, searching iron low for stuff and- and some of these I had to leave till this morning. So right, cause there's just not morning. enough knowledge out in the world, is not there, much that is you don't on. know about? I found out about something in the week about a guy who, um, uh, was playing tug of war. This is bonus material, <laughs> he isn't it? He was playing tug of oh, war. Oh, uh, his arm came off. He's- only his arm come off. Yeah, he got caught up in the rope, yeah. No, 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 he didn't. He didn't get caught up in the rope, he just was trying that hard and didn't want to lose. He kept holding it. he allowed it. his arm to be pulled off? He really wanted to win. And well, the other no. team- the, the other team pulled it and his arm come off. No. Well. I don't know who to believe. Well, uh, think about it. If he's gripping- Yeah. As soon as there's tension, like the- the- the arm coming out of the socket, the hand might release. I think his arm got caught up in the rope. And so it was involuntary, as opposed to him going, Well, my arm's coming off, but I'm not gonna lose this! <laughs> <laughs> you might be anyway, right. That's the, that's the fact. That's a bonus. That's a bonus fact. Yeah, well, that's, that's educated uh, me. Well, a man lost his arm. Oh, interesting. Go uh, on. Um, arm, I'm gonna have to thump you. Yeah. Do you know the saying, uh, "Shut your face"? <laughs> 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 yeah, saying? I've heard the well-known Shakespeare, innit? Yeah. Do, you know, do you know how it came about? Uh, no, Joe Dolce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, go on. It's, uh, ages ago. Oh yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. <laughs> like, uh, knights who wore armour. Okay. That's, uh, armour gonna have to thump you, that's how it came about. Okay, armour. Um, oh. they, they wore all the stuff and they had the helmet and say if they, they guarding something at night. Mm. Stood outside a castle or something. Yeah. And there's probably gonna be two of them. Mm. Right. So they stood there talking and that. <laughs> and, uh, talking about stuff. And. The future. Sort of, what, yeah. Medieval what, stuff. One yeah. of them, one of them's like, oh, I wish you'd shut up. You know, I've been stood here for hours and he's going on and you on. Get, yeah, sure. So he'd say, shut your face. Meaning, shut the guard down on your helmet. The visor. Okay. And I can't hear you then. Uh huh. So shut, shut your face. Shut your face. And that's okay. how- that's how it came about. Well, I God. suppose that's- it would be interesting if I could just rely on it as I'm it? not sure it's true, I yeah. know, I just never know, I can- <laughs> It needs to be cooperated. It's just like, I don't know where he got it from, but anything via Carl mm. is precarious. Yeah, like. I mean, I feel like maybe you should give us your sources next time. You know, tell us where I you know, got it from. Got it off the internet. Yeah, but where on the internet? I can't remember where that one was. I mean, I, I, I always go through like the news pages and stuff. And I, I, I this news should be updated because <laughs> they've only reached the 17th century, <laughs> which is last week with people eating um, tomatoes no, off no, lead but plates. Then I look at news and there was stuff about a woman who was in a shop and she, um, I don't know, some they had some workmen in, workmen in doing the shop up, and they had some wood glue left out and she asked for some pear juice and then the guy went and thought the glue in the thing was the pear juice and she went and drank that, but that's not really. News. No. So I thought, well, we're it's not doing that. I wish you hadn't told us. There was one about. So there's some poor woman now whose ties of tiles have fallen off because she tried to put them up with pear juice. Yeah. See, that's the that's the danger of mixing up pear juice with toxic glue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your wallpaper and your tiles and everything just yeah. fall down. Um, there was, there was <laughs> be also careful, th everyone. Be Please. careful. There was something about uh, kids having hamburgers; it makes them fat. Hamburgers. Uh, yeah. Hold on. What? You having? F food with high fat yeah. content can make you put on weight. Yeah. Don't believe it. You're an idiot. What's so, the next one? Well, no, um, let's play tune, no, let's play well, tune. Well, you've we'll still got back. to come, you've still got, I want to come here in hindsight and you've still got, is a tip included, but we've got a bit of uh Well, I think we haven't played anything for a while, have we, in terms of the hip hop hooray no, feature no. that I used to uh, be so popular for. So I thought we'd just re resurrect that for one week only. He didn't pick up on that one, they did they? They didn't, did they? <laughs> <but> <laughs> no. Let me just remind you, hip hop hooray was where I played a hip hop track. And then I said hooray or- Yeah, no, well no, I think- No, we didn't, no, didn't, didn't even know that. Brilliant. Really. That's brilliant. a great, that's a great thing though, we could add that in, we could phase that in, maybe at the end of the uh, song you could- Hooray. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, check it. Featuring Puff Daddy and Little Kim, that's Notorious B.I.G. Brilliant. And, uh, Notorious. Great. Lovely. Carl just, uh, said to me, yeah, hey, here's something, you can't hold your breath to death. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried it, Carl? It's <laughs> <laughs> just another little lesson. <laughs> 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 oh. Someone here who's in a really low ebb. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, they yeah, would yeah. commit suicide. Yeah, yeah. They just start holding their breath and they're like, oh, oh really. <laughs> well, what oh. did you learn in the week, right? I'm always doing all the educating. 
I asked you, you were talking about watching a program about jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. And I said, well, that'll be interesting. I'll try and find some stuff out, but I couldn't find anything that I didn't already know about them. <laughs> <laughs> it must be difficult for you to find anything you don't already know. So what, what, what did you learn about jellyfish? I, I agreed with you by the end of it that they should be wiped off the face of the earth because they're balls of water in membrane, right, that go around stinging people to death. Uh. Let's lose them, Carl. Let's lose the jellyfish. Yeah? That's, that's what I think. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. I, I was stung mm -hmm. by one, did it, you know? Oh, you got stung by yeah, one? Yeah, I yeah, was yeah, on holiday yeah. and got stung by one. Yeah. And I, d I don't understand. No, I don't you're not. I'm not a fan of them. So yeah. that's, that's that. <laughs> oh, good. So well, let's well, sort it out the jellyfish conundrum. <laughs> <laughs> We've solved that particular worry. Right then, yeah. so, uh, take your pick then. I asked him his, what, if he could have any animal the other day. Did I ask him on air as well? Don't know. Off air, he <laughs> said, I've got it down to two. Right, and this was, he said, he said uh, what favourite animal we're looking at, or could I own one? And I went, you could own one. And he went, right, but could I own one, or would I have, would I have trouble? I went, Carl, you've got all the expertise, you can just have it in whatever it needs. And you go down there, he went, right, and I won't regret it and get fed up. I said, no, Carl, just what animal, if you could have any animal, what animal would you love? He went, I've got it number two. I went, what is it? He said, either the rhino or the hippo. What's your logic? Well, I have. I don't know. That that was then. I mean, ask me tomorrow. And <laughs> I might have two other favourites. Do you know what I mean? When was that? It's a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> when was that? Well, you were there. Yeah, but you know. What? So what? Why did you say quickly now? First quickly, animal. Quickly now. Your head. Any animal I want. You could have any animal in the world. Right. From party, one that's maybe extinct. Anything you want. Right. I might have. Um, I might just for today. Just for today. I might have a scorpion in a in a little box. A little scorpion in a box. Next what's your what's your thinking? It's the chimp every time. It's Just the chimpanzee or the gorilla. No, but have I told you that program about the scorpion? How they all help each other out. Right. Have Scorpions all help each other out. No, no, no. This is brilliant. Right. Somewhere in the desert. Okay. Um, there's these <laughs> in little in the desert. It's like these little monkeys that are underground or something. <laughs> and there's there's holes. Is this beneath the planet of the apes? <laughs> 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 the fourth in the series, Are I they think. Are talking apes? Oh, I forget it, <laughs> No, and you've got it wrong anyway. They're not monkeys. There's little monkeys under the ground. <laughs> what monkeys. are they doing down there? They're Pointing lizards. into underground mines. They're lizards, if you remember. And the lizard goes to sleep, and the bloke comes along, you've told this, and he- and the Oh, I've done it, alright. <laughs> <laughs> monkey from <laughs> monkey lizard! <laughs> That's <laughs> what happens in his mind! From lizard to monkey! <laughs> oh, evolution would have been so much easier if Carl was around. Oh, right. Right. Uh, turn it into a monkey, I'm fed up with a lizard. Just Take promise me <sighs> once again, Carl, I've asked you before, promise me you'll never have children. <laughs> <laughs> go on, right, okay. Right, what are you having? Right, what's, what are they again? Is the tip included? Yeah, go on, that one. Right, in Turkey. Nice. Um, <laughs> it's not, actually. Mm -hmm. oh. That's where I went and there was them little fellas after Suzanne in the kitchen. What? <laughs> what do you mean? We stayed in a, we went to Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> you went and, to Turkey um, and there yeah. were some little fellas. Well, they had quite a few sort of midgets working in the kitchen. Why? Um, is, it, is it a theme? No, was it a theme just, holiday? Just, I don't know. Might get them cheaper or something. Was it? Were they <laughs> so they, they <laughs> you were get working. Them cheaper. They were working in the kitchen, and one of them fancied Suzanne mm. and kept sort of eyeing her up, mm -hmm. and she was winding me up, saying, "Oh, not eyeing up and down, just eyeing her up." Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, no, so what anyway. was she doing in the kitchen? No, it's like a pick, pick what you want to eat type buffy, but you have people clearing the tables and that, ready for you to come along. Are they low tables? And uh, <laughs> and you know, he was just keeping an eye on her. Well, well, what did he say though? Was he? What was it? Was it? Was Turkish? So I don't know what he was saying. He but just, he was. A, was it? Was it was little um, fella, yeah. Did he? Talk what do you mean, it? a little fella? What do you mean, little fella? Sort of dwarf-like. <laughs> what do you mean, dwarf-like? He had magic powers, or he was four foot. No, what do you mean, Carl? A little bloke, just a, 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 like a normal bloke, but small. If you stood him in the desert, you wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but he'd yeah, be hard. Right, Carl. He should no, watch out for the monkeys. <laughs> Yeah, underground. There's underground what, monkeys, look, look, You can't just say there was a little midget fella who was eyeing up my girlfriend and then leave it. What do you mean? Do, what, what was happening? This is a story to us. This is much more interesting to us than, and she was deaf, right, and she hit her head. That's much more I don't understand how this, ma how it manifested itself. Did he come over and say something? No, do you know, you know when, it's like girls know, don't they, when, when some, someone fancies them. What do you mean there was lots of them as well? Do then? they? That's worth knowing. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, right, so you went into this, you went to this holiday, yeah? Yeah. Well, and you went into the, the, what, the dining room or something? Yeah, yeah downstairs. And you looked over You thought, this is all, there's no one serving. Yeah, and they go, <laughs> Wait oh, a minute. hold on, you looked down and there was a little waiter. There was loads of them running around busy. Why, <laughs> though? Why did they get the- summer. What do you mean? 
Because it was in summer. They had more they, they come out in summer. They come out in summer. What do you mean they had more- what, what do you because mean- Because it's busy, isn't well, it? No, but they so hibernate they, in the winter. Why were they all midgets? I don't know, maybe it doesn't heat stunt your growth or something? No! Uh, well, they just happened to- maybe it was a thing that they did for tourists or something, I don't know. I just got on with my meal, it was a holiday, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Go on. Right, so, 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 so midget serving, I'm not gonna ask any questions. Right, okay, yeah. So, they're, they're all little fellas running around, and <laughs> this one always was like, you know, oh, do you, do you want a new serve yet? You know what I mean? Going out of his way oh, to sort of- Oh, for training on oh, the yeah, charm. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh. he was going out of his way, the others weren't. Right. Um, I think what was happening is he'd been working with Santa all <laughs> the winter. Yeah. Or, just like a little summer break. This, this one was your waiter, girl. and so he was being polite to you? Maybe, maybe, maybe. But what did Suzanne say then? When to well, she was what, using it to wind me up. What was she saying? Always, well, just like you know, look. look uh, he may be small, but he's well built like a yeah. He's all man. So were you jealous of a midget then? You were jealous of it. Him? Is a bit annoying, isn't it? Why? Uh, it wouldn't bother me as much now because I've been with her for ages. Right. But at the time, that might have been one of our first holidays, and it's like you, you don't know, want what, to be going on. I paid for this holiday, yeah. <laughs> and, and then uh, you get off with a midget. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yes, so anyway. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because you got chatted up by a bearded lady. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell yeah, you what, yeah. I'll tell you what. No, that's got nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? Hotel. What were you going to say? I was, 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 was going to say the hotel was half bored and maybe. Oh, right. Yeah. I thought you were going to say it's just one of her shortcomings. <laughs> so listen, right? Play, play a record, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Baddy drum boy. Uh, born again. Right, just get this educating Ricky out of the way. So, Turkey, yeah. So what is this again? Th this is educating Ricky. Is a tip included? Right. Apparently, a fellow was on holiday in Turkey. Um, it's just having a normal holiday. Weather's good. You know, he's having a good time. Weight is all normal height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's having his meal. He is a load of screaming going on in the kitchen. Mm, hold on. Has his girlfriend wandered in there? <laughs> on, they do. Um, With a step ladder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the circumcised people in the kitchen, and apparently- What are you talking about? <laughs> whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. We were sorry. sorry there for a minute. What are you talking about? Well, I'm just excited about two things at once here. One, they circumcised people in the kitchen. <laughs> two, I guessed it was someone losing the end of their knob. <laughs> did, yeah. I started thinking like Carl Pilkington. Extraordinary. That is amazing. Apparently it was- it was going on. It wasn't just a one-off either. Well, when I say a one-off, <laughs> I mean, they did it more than once. Yes. Right? Um, and there was, um, he was there for a week, and apparently the first night it was quiet, and then the rest of the week, every day, it'd be like having his- having his breakfast, or even his lunch, or even his tea. Yeah. Right? It'd be doing it all day. Oh. You'd be hearing- Lunch screams. and breakfast, fair enough, really. Yeah, yeah it, it tea time. Don't do that. Um, and apparently it's a tradition over there. You can't even make a complaint about it. It's like, well, you should have, you know, should have found out before you- you come over See, it. See, I can't believe this is Sorry, true. I'm a little I bit can't lost. believe the, this the, is he true. He was in a restaurant, uh, uh, in a hotel, and there were people having circumcisions in uh, the- in the kitchen. Yeah. In the- is that right? I- 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 I'm even worried that we're bordering on the racist here, suggesting that that is tradition, that Turkish people cut the end of their cocks off in the kitchen. Yeah. At meal times. Mm. I think you're wrong, Carl. This just sounds ludicrous, Carl. No, I don't think it happens everywhere. Right. I think this- Just in this, oh, this, this, in this hotel. Certain- certain places. <laughs> certain hotels? Certain hotels. What, is it like two star? Yeah. No, I, I don't, uh, that Why did he go to the Foreskin Inn? <laughs> <laughs> it was his own fault, wasn't it? <laughs> so, that- that's- Sorry, that- that's it, is it? Have they clued- Sorry, sorry no, wait, 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 that's the story. You, you educated me, right? <laughs> Once a fella saw some <laughs> Turkish people cutting the tip of their- No, I'm off in the kitchen. <sighs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks very much, Carl. Got any more? <laughs> Well, there's things you can learn from it. Either don't go to Turkey. No! <laughs> uh, don't have calamari when you're over there. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. uh, Carl, uh, you've done it again. Well. You too. I love that one. On XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl. Okay, Carl, one more. Can we just- Don't get the ump, just because so far you've come up with nothing. What's the la last one? Give us the teaser clue again. It was, um, I want to come here in hindsight. I wouldn't have come here in hindsight. Yeah. Right, well, give me some education. This will be the thing that teaches me something. I can feel it in my bones. Come on. Uh, there's a kid in Kenya. Uh, -huh. uh he was messing about with some beans. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. We talk. guessed that as well. You did, yeah. Um. He's fed up because we've guessed his puns, I think. He put one of them in his ear. Yeah. Um. <laughs> 
the mum or the dad said, uh, oh, what have you done that for or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I'll have to take you to the doctors now. So they took the kid to the doctors and the doctor said, oh, he said, I can get that out, I can sort that out for you. So, um, he took it out and the doctor said, right, that's, uh, that's three pound fifty. <laughs> and the dad said, I've only got two seventy on me. And the doctor said, right, well, and put, he put the bean back in his, his kid's ear. <laughs> 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 I, d I don't know what to say, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, a couple of questions from me, very quickly. Are you sure that those were definitely the sums involved, were they? <laughs> well, the equivalent of whatever, right. whatever the deal with in, in Kenya. Yeah. It was the equivalent well, of, you know. Oh, so, 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 you, so what currency was it, Carl, that you, you translated into sterling? I don't know, no, it, no, it was saying in, in the thing, it said the equi equivalent oh, of. Three pound fifteen, two pound seven. Did yeah. it say that? Yeah. Sorry. Did it like, say that? Yeah. Did- Carl, look at me. Look at me. Did it say that? Yeah, it said- it said that's- that- that was the, uh- Did it say that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> it, it- it definitely said that. Definitely. Yeah. So, it's just like, I suppose- I don't know, I mean all these things, the idea is it's not like a lesson, it's like, I'll tell you this, see what you can get from it. <laughs> sure. So, so yeah. you look at what I've told you already, the, the yeah. knights who said shut your face, that's yeah, like- that's- that's amazing. That explains itself. Yeah. Um, turkey with the circumcisions in a restaurant. Yeah. You know, that'll hold me in good stead, yeah, go don't, on. Don't- don't go there or whatever. Yeah. This one, um, if you're in Kenya, you don't put beans in your ears or something. I <laughs> doctors <laughs> all like, carry three pounds fifty or the equivalent I mean, of. I- it's just the idea that the doctor put it back in his ear. He- yeah, he forced what? it back in his ear. So is it still there to this day? I mean, is there any update on that stuff? Or did he go back with the 350? I presume he either went and got, a, like, a second opinion, see if he could get it cheaper. Right. Or another doctor. Yeah. Or he said, right, I'll come back next week. Yeah. After I've been paid. Or he saw how the doctor did it and thought, well, I'll have a go at that. Sure. I'll get home. Yeah, for free. But he never said what it- how it ended. No, no. But- I mean, I- I, I apologise for this week, so I mean, I-, I I haven't got that much out of it. <laughs> 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 you, you've not been enriched. Oh. Um, it was very, very light. Like I say, there was the, the tug of war, there was a fella in Scotland who had a load of tattoos. Okay. Is that it? Is uh, that the end of the story? Uh, 98 percent covered. Right. Just between his toes he didn't have done. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Why not? Because it looks stupid. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just said, it just said 98 percent. Um, Done. Um. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Are you, gonna, are you gonna drop the feature? Are you worried? I'm thinking about it. Don't drop be, the feature. To be honest with you. Heat have probably written about this already. This has been a classic. I, I'm, con I'm concerned because it's my favourite part of the show. I'm wondering if, is there something else we could. Is it, what could we do to help you out? Because I just. I hate to see it go. Well, we can't really. And he's moving this week with the old fella, so that's taking about four yeah. days. I'm worried that you're not. I'm worried you're not looking in the right. Why don't you go to a library? Mm. Quick question for you, Carl. Who is a possible guest on next week's Pilkington? Um, what are you going to investigate? I mean, what about your removals, oh, man? Right, listen. If you what, if you've had a, a, a experience, it can be anything, right? It doesn't have to be you've seen a ghost. It can be that you've you, you know you think you're going to live forever, or you can you know do so. Any mentalist out there, if you if you're slightly you know wrong. If there's something wrong with you, just, um, email, email Carl. Carl. Is it carl.pilkington at xfm.co.uk? Yeah. Carl.pilkington at xfm.co.uk. Would you like to be interviewed on yeah. next week's edition yeah. of Pilkington? If you are a mental of any description, just lonely, bewildered, stupid, just something wrong with you, right, and you've seen something that's, you know, interesting to you but absolute bollocks, then <laughs> please call Carl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Carl Dot Pilkington. Don't let that put you off, by the way. Don't me think, oh, they're gonna take the piss out of me. Just if, you know, in any way, if it's, you know, uh, fodder for us, then call up, because Carl will like you, you'll be friends with Carl, mm -hmm. won't you? Yeah. Quit the clues, what's the answers? We always do this, we're running so out of time. Don't worry, we've got a tune, and then we'll come back with the answers from sure. Rockbusters. A lot of great prizes. Alright, um, we'll have a bit of, uh, cash. Yeah. Johnny Cash, one of the prizes we're giving away. Johnny Cash and Desperado. That's from his new album, uh, which is a collection of new songs and covers, which is one of the prizes given away on this week's Rock Busters. And, uh, can we have the clues and the answers and the winners? Yeah. Um, first one was Stop Throwing That Fruit About. Stop Throwing That Fruit About. The that answer was is. C B. That was Chuck Berry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course it was. <laughs>
Okay. All yeah, right. I'll give you that. Um, the one that you've worked out, I'll do next. The, yeah. uh, God, you make a load of toast with them. That Grillers. was G. Gorillas. Gorillas, though, isn't it? Gorillas. Um, and the middle one <laughs> was that Scottish fella's made an error. That was Mystique. <laughs> <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh, did anyone get that? Extraordinarily, almost all the people who emailed in and I'm really, I'm going right. to think it's us then it's because uh, I, I was thinking mistake, I was thinking muck error yeah. and muck mistake and but mistake. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, do you yeah. want to pick a winner? Yeah, I was going to give it, the, the prizes to uh, Amy Massey, who's uh, from Wiltshire, the West Country. <laughs> Losers down there, probably as weird as you. Yeah. So, uh, she's won and congratulations to her. I'm assuming she's listening online or maybe, uh, via some kind of, um, well, must, well, I think we must have a lot of listeners outside London, cos all these are from Norwich and- yeah. Have we got any listeners in London? Places, you know, it's where there's a lot of inbreeding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> exactly. Norwich and Wiltshire. Well, you know, cheers for that, Amy. Well done. He yeah. waved then when he said that. He did, yeah. He uh, waved. He's, he's working. No, he's working, uh, getting ready for TV. Of course he is, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's so this week. Could, is it, can it be arranged for this week? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll sort it out. Well, Thanks I'm busy so. this week. I'm moving. Of course. So yeah. let's, let's talk about that. Uh, um, and you can do, you can do an edition of Cribs. Where you <laughs> can, like, they get rock stars to show them around there. Oh, we're done. Home. We're done now. It's it. Finished. Sorry, oh. was I boring you? What day well, are you it's moving? Been what day are you today? It's been pretty bad. What are you talking about? I don't know. Exactly. I was talking and you today. just went anyway. Well, uh, we're still on that. You know we, we're still on that. time now. We're well, run out of time. It's six minutes to. I know, but we've got to finish now. Why? Because we've- we always do this. What, 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 what? Why are you getting stressed, Carl? Don't get- you do not cut me off when I'm talking. Whatever you do. Can I just remind you, Carl, it is Ricky's show. Yeah. No, I know, but as the producer- Ooh, you've well, changed, Carl. Go on, go on. As the producer, I've got to press this button. Why, though? At six minutes to! Tell me why, tell me why. Because that's when it finishes. What, we've we finished- We've got clear net for the next- On the poster it says one to three, it, say, it doesn't say one to two fifty-five. Right. You t- you- Carl, you press that button on. Oh yeah, the smooth indie sound of Richard Ashcroft, the science of silence on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, joining me is Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. It was an excellent link, that, Rick. Did you say nine at one point? 104.9? <laughs> Did <laughs> I? Other than that, it was Again, I, I, yeah, a desperate attempt to be inarticulate. Sure. But let myself down. With your so this is the good thing about the boxing thing, because, uh, uh, there's no chance of me, you know, uh, slurring the words. Oh, no, right. no. I already slurred my words. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. no one, <laughs> any damage will yeah. be totally fine. Yeah. Oh, the dear. doctor's rushing in. I think there yeah. might be some kind of concussion. <laughs> James just going, no, that's just the way he talks about <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh. but, uh, cause I'm thinking maybe, did you start the show with, with that particular kind of, uh, manner? Just cause obviously a lot of new listeners, I imagine, thanks to the massive poster campaign. And you obviously weren't See, that, impressed that's, then. That's the, that, there's, there's a few examples today of irony coming back and biting you. Yeah. That, that seemed like a funny idea at the time, me posing that. But, um, Jonathan Ross phoned me up when they first went up and he said, I've just seen a big poster of a predatory gay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you do look a little bit, uh, yeah. Hello. Oh, uh, <laughs> and what's your name? Yeah. Uh, why would you like to sit down here? <laughs> <laughs> and then you're in the background. And also, uh, it, the, the, I think the funny thing about having you as a partner, I mean the only good thing, is that, y y you know, you look you look weird and tall, like too freakishly tall and lanky. Oh, yeah, yeah, but in yeah. that one, no, because your background and you're smiling, you don't look as weird as you do in real life, or as, as freakishly tall. So it sort of ruins it a little bit for me. Look at- look is at- that look, 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 look. Pilkington, what are he's you doing? not listening. He's just opening a, a packet. What are they? McVitie's. Mc, see, uh, see, we should mention them. We get some free ones if anyone at McVitie's are listening, because we're not getting the perks of this. Nothing. Sort of. I, I tell you, I'm not getting anything. I really got in this game for uh, the ladies, for the money. For the voiceover work, certainly yeah. I'm seeing hiding the hair of that. But um, you're not getting the voiceover work because Jethro, the Jethro's <laughs> getting all this part right, that you yeah, might get. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, okay, Rick. Yeah, you were the voice of what? The drink driving campaign. <laughs> <laughs> You sound like you sound like a man who was run over in a drink drive incident. <laughs> oh, I mean, dear. it's like you don't drive. Yeah, but I didn't get any money for that. You did drink I? Oh, did I? I can't remember. Yeah. It's like I mean, talking about. I don't about drive. Yeah. The, well, that's good. I don't drive. No, it said don't drink and drive. So I've chosen just but to drink. At least I can formulate sentences using the English language, and I'm not getting the voiceover work. What's it? What, yeah, what's the, English, the English language of the 14th century. Well, it's oh. better better <laughs> English language <laughs> and English language. <laughs> Rather than whatever kind of Middle England language you speak, the language of the hobbits. 
<laughs> All right, Carl. Alright. See, you're eating a biscuit. biscuit. I can't believe it. Are you bored with this already? Do you know what? MTV called me last week. They called me again yesterday and said, when can they come down to do a- Oh, they're coming down next Saturday, by the way, to do a little screen test for you. They're gonna sort of just film you with a little camcorder. You said this. They're gonna film you. Are you alright? Do you wanna- I mean, are you hungry? Do you wanna go out and have a meal? I can't believe you're eating while I'm on air. No one can hear that. Do you know who I am? No one can hear Explain that. Explain who I am. Well, that's Ricky Gervais, right? He's made his name on TV. Yeah. Okay. He's done <laughs> and any number of corporate gigs, <laughs> which and they pay silly money. So, yeah. I mean, this guy's earning, you know, and really uh, earning beyond his talent. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so I, I mean, think I deserve you know, a little bit more than a little mank eating a biscuit while Rick, I'm talking. Rick Gervais. Yeah. Have you won a BAFTA? Yeah, too. All right. So, yeah, yeah. just a little bit of respect. Yeah. Yeah. Carl, well, what uh, have you won? What have you won? I, I got a, uh, I got a, got a bronze certificate for doing a full week at school. <laughs> That's great. It was it? only a bronze. <laughs> and, what was that then? Three out of five days. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and I got me a little Crusaders badge if you if you remember. What's the little the what? Crusaders badge? The Crusaders badge for the religious club. So. Oh, is that the fellow that you went and played? You had to go ping pong ball. So they yeah. wanted to you? talk to you about God. Yeah. Yeah. You got a Crusaders badge, did you? Yeah, that's oh, why I went. That's why I joined. That's why I joined. For the I like, I like the little badge. Did yeah. four weeks and then packed it in. Uh -huh. But uh, we're talking about MTV, right? And I was feeling a bit nervous, wasn't I? About, <coughs> about like you know the way I look, right? And what have you? And then I watched a bit of Celebrity Big Brother and all the fuss that Mark Owen's getting. And he's not. He's not that good looking, is he? He's, he's very- I, I like- I want to be Mark Owen's mate. If anyone who knows Mark Owen or Mark Owen's listening, I want to be his mate. Yeah, I yeah. think he's brilliant. I think he's a nice lad, but what I'm saying is, right, all the girls go mad over him. Yeah. And he's not- he's not that good looking, is he? Well, no, he's got a- he is in a certain way, isn't he? That sort of uh, non-threatening sort yeah, of- Yeah, but he's not- he's not stunning, is he? Do well, you know what I mean? No, but- no- well, what's your well, definition of a stunning? Yeah. Who well, do you like? Someone who you look at and you go, God, they're, they're good. Which bloke do you think? Who, 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 no, who, no, who, no, what bloke do you think's attractive so, then? So if I was into men. Yeah, yeah. In fact, you can th you can still say a bloke's a good looker without yeah, 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 like fancying yeah, yeah. him. Who, who do you think you is know attractive? Know I mean? it, uh, Probably, uh. Oh. I mean, it depends what you're looking for. No, well, no, just, 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 just looks. Just, just looks. Look, yeah, 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 yeah. looks as of well. Of course, yeah. Who would you say was attractive? Who would you say was like stunning in your definition? A good looking lad. Yeah. Good looking lad. Oh, look at him over there. He's. Uh. Ooh. <sighs> do you find, you know, Robbie Williams, do you find him attractive? No, the boy next door, look. No, no, who do you. Carl, hurry up, because it's, you know, we've only got two hours. Probably. Uh. Do you know? I, I, I can't think of one I found. Marco in is, is pretty good looking then, really. Uh. What, there's not- just name one bloke that you think's an attractive guy. There must be one bloke that you've either met or that you've, you know, seen in a pub Who's or you think on a poster. Attractive? Tell you what. Go on. Tell you what. Um, works here. Um, young Alex Zane. Oh, hello! 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 Oh, a ride song or something. Mm -hmm. That's my favourite one. Ride-ish. Ride-ish. Yeah. Feeder. Yeah. Just the way I'm feeding. On XFM 104.9. Rick, quick question for you. Go I'm on. thinking, um, a lot of people may- maybe are tuning in for the first time because of the advertising campaign. Sure. Should we reintroduce Carl again? I, w I know we've done this a few times in the past, but just worry that people are gonna not, you know, not really kind of get the measure of him. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, we're still, uh, I'm Ricky Gervais, uh, I'm the one off the office. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Merchant, he's not the one in the office, he's not- he's not Gareth, some people think he is, he's got a funny, weird West Country accent right. that actually Mackenzie was affecting uh -huh. for the role. Steve uh, wrote it with me, he's a tall, um, lanky fella. Uh, Carl, is our, um, sort of, well, I say producer, but he's the one that pressed the buttons because well, I was too- body. Yeah, but I mean, it was just because I was too big to run the desk. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, I, I, I used to have to <laughs> Literally too big, you could <laughs> <be like that. laughs> Yeah, and then we discovered that, you know, he looked a bit like a boring, sort of, all right, yeah, I don't know. But then when we sort of, you know, st poked him with a stick, mm. he came up with, um, uh, he doesn't realise, but some of the, the I think, some well, of the funniest things. extraordinary things I've yeah. ever heard. Um, say hello, Carl. Alright. Yeah. Um, well, classics, I think, so far, it's, that have gone straight to the list include Have you ever used a Y front correctly? Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, you never see an old person eating a Twix. Eating a Twix. Uh, These are sort uh, of things. Uh, it, he's, he's things. back on his campaign to get rid of jellyfish. Why really? is that, Carl? Oh, did you see the paper yesterday? Go on. It's a jellyfish. Uh -huh. Right. 
it's about f fifteen foot long, about right. five foot wide, uh -huh. and uh, there's a fella swimming next to it. And the paper's going, oh, look at this we've found, there's loads of them in Japan. Yeah. Um, and it's cause the all, the, uh, the water's getting hot, so it's making jellyfish really big. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> How's the campaign going to get jellyfish rid, you know, get rid of them? What was your point about jellyfish? There's no, don't do anything? There's no point, they get in the way, yeah. it ruined me already. Uh huh. Cause I got stung by one. Yeah. Um, and I, I But mean, you yeah. think the same thing about liverpudlians, and we can't just go around, you know, wiping out things that ruin well, your holiday. Well let's do the jellyfish first. <laughs> Sure, and then, then, uh, on, then yeah. we'll move on to the scousers. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know what they do, and I'm still, I, I mean, I'm trying to look on the internet, I've been busy this week. You're uh, jellyfish now, not scousers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you don't know what, you know. I don't know what they do either. <laughs> Try and work out what would happen with the sea if it didn't work. Because they say like if there's what? no. Wait, 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 see, there's this is what we're talking about. This uh, people have listened first time. They've got to listen to every word you say. You want to find out what would happen with the sea if it didn't work. If 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 jellyfish weren't in there, do you know what I mean? Because right. stuff like coral, apparently the sea would be in a right state if you didn't have any coral. Yeah, right. In it, um, f if fish. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I always worry about how many fish we're, we're sort of eating. Because you go past. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, do you know like you go in Marks and Spencers or Selfridges? There's loads of fish in there. And there's there's really fancy stuff that you think they've killed that and yeah. it looks good on the counter, pretty impressive. Yeah. But is anyone going to buy it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's a big like a shark sat in ice. Yeah. And you go, yeah, they've got they've got like a lot of fish. For you sure. Going around the, the Tate Gallery. What, no, what, do you know what I mean? In, uh, well, in I've, nev I've never seen a big shark sat yeah. in ice in Selfridges. They do. They do it, and it's like. You go in the morning and you can go back at night and the same shark sat there yeah. and it's- it's- So you know it's the same shark, do It's you? the same one. So, 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 what, same face? Y are you well. sure he just hasn't lost his mum? And he's just like, he <laughs> went shopping with her Christmas shopping and he's just like, he's <laughs> around, he doesn't know where, he's just you, waiting. You know I'm right. <laughs> I've never seen a shark in Selfridges. Well, all right then. Say maybe that's one day a week, but on other days they'll <laughs> have like okay. Shark Monday. <laughs> I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. sandwiches. Today at sandwiches is Shark Monday. Yeah. yeah. No, it's just that so. Your point is that there's all these fish not being eaten. Yeah. So and they're, they're being killed. They're, they're taking them out of the sea. No one's eating them. And you're worried what that the sea's going to rise because the more things you take out, well, we're just going to run out because because the, the fish drink it, don't they? And that keeps the yeah. water level down. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. well, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, there's stuff. There's was stuff that worries me. You're worried that was it you who said that you were worried that because you know there's sponge in the sea. Yeah. But if they took it all away, no. Like, was it? Is that that's, him? that's a Stephen Wright. Joke. Is that Stephen Wright? What yeah. was the joke? The sponges grow in the sea. That kills me. How deep would it be if they did? <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that he confused you yeah. with Stephen Wright, Ooh. who who for a living purposely says ridiculous things. <laughs> yeah. Does that worry you, Carl? Uh. <laughs> well, think about that. <laughs> Play a record. What oh, do you want? What do you want? I'd love to. A classic, a beautiful song by Simon and Garfunkel. April come, she will. April come, she will. Simon and Garfunkel. That was in the days when they kept songs short, short and to sweet. What do you think of that, Carl? As a yeah, track. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Um, so yeah, so uh, that, that's um, that's Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington for you. Coming up on the show, we've got educating Ricky. I'm not happy with this. Oh really? Because the the last few weeks have been genius. <laughs> what is what is a drop in quality? Is there of the education of me? Jeez. Well, it's, it's just like I said, I've wasted a lot of time this week searching on the web, right? Um, you wasted a lot of time searching on the web because you come up with things that aren't true. Why don't you look in books and verified sort of like journals? The web is the new book, though, isn't it? No, the it web is, new is the new book. <laughs> That's what's going on. Yeah. Well, so I've been searching. Is hardly anything. I spoke to you in the week. Um, yeah. About Monday or Tuesday. What did you say? Two There's days. nothing happened this week in the world. There's apart nothing from going on. There was a new car wash that you can put dogs in. <laughs> <laughs> there was a car wash you can put <laughs> dogs in. That's the only thing that's happened in the world. <laughs> and that and the jellyfish. <laughs> and we've covered that. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got, yeah, we've, we've, I've managed to find some bits, but it's not that good. Um, okay. Rockbusters. Yeah. Oh, we've, we've really, we've really G'd up. So that's coming up, the thing that's not that good. Yeah, yeah. Look yeah. forward to that. Yeah. Can you just quickly tell us about the car wash with the dog in it? Well, that, I don't know what's that. That didn't make the top I three. Did, I, didn't, I didn't waste that much time on it, to be honest. What did it, it just say? Said, it just said, um, you know, how busy are you? Uh, have you got a dog? Um, <laughs> how about saving some time? There's some car wash out. Um, it's, it's not a car wash, it's dog wash. Um, you take it down there, put your coin in, put your dog in, and it comes out clean. So there's nothing in is it. Is this is this called a bath? Isn't it? No, but it's like a machine. Right. There's a machine, but but we'll look, you know that's why I didn't pick it. <laughs> 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 
so we've got, we've got some uh, events coming up. Uh, yeah. Rockbusters. Yeah. Um, Rick, can I just, uh, <laughs> can I just explain some of the prizes we've got here yeah. for Rockbusters? Because <laughs> I just want you to try and picture, if you would, the kind of XFM listener <laughs> who'd particularly want this <laughs> collection, this collection of, 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 of <laughs> gifts. You've got the, um, the best chill out album ever. This is yeah. the one, as I said before, that's largely made up of songs you may have heard in adverts. Sure. So sure. you've got the, um, the Volvo advert on there. Yeah, and you've got the T-Mobile the phones, TV. The T-Mobile. Brilliant. That's on there. So, um, that's a Roy Good. So look Good. forward to that. Um, yeah, uh, again, just just imagine which XFM listener is particularly looking forward to Top of the Morning with Terry Wogan. <laughs> his uh, two disc set there. You've got, uh, uh, it starts with, um, <coughs> we've got the Bangles on there. We've got Billy Joel, River of Dreams, uh, Shine On by Mr. Christa Bear. So, um, so that's yeah, good. just look forward to that. Um, <coughs> oh dear. We've got the uh, Only Fools and Horses last year's Christmas special. We, we gave one of those away last year, uh, yeah. last week, but, uh, still more. To uh, shift. Is the, is the, uh, do I spy and a little free? Yes, it's car? a little free three wheel trotter independent trading uh, oh. three wheel car. So that's there as well. So um, as I say, if you if you if you like fairly uh, and mediocre little, comedy, little, 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 little Jonathan Ross's face there yeah, on the back. God of us. Oh. And uh, maybe you also want uh, Jerry Halliwell's Body Yoga DVD, Rick. So sure, that is yeah, well, well that's good quality. And then just a few token, uh, XFM kind of things. We've got, uh, the Manic Street Preachers DVD and, uh, the U2 best And, of. uh, tell me, Steve, how do, uh, the lucky win- uh, listeners win these? Rick, I'm glad you've asked. What they do is they email in with the answers to Rockbusters, which is a quiz. That hold on, man. Hold on, man. How do they email if we don't know the email address? Rick, again, thanks for asking. Thanks for flagging that up. Um, Ricky hmm. at xfm.co.uk. That'll be coming up shortly. Um, Try and get into the mindset of Carl Pilkington. A lot of yeah. people have been trying to email in answers, trying to think through kind of logically, sure. or maybe based on the rules that they've picked up over the or years. Or when he says it in a cryptic clue, they believed him. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, you've just got to think more like <laughs> a mentalist right. to try and get. Uh, First of all, right, the prizes that I source every week. Explain yourself. Um, what I said to you, we're doing between now and Christmas because this is just a few weeks till Christmas. Right. I thought I'd make up sort of family packs. Okay. That mm -hmm. um, the winner can have something, say like, um, there's a nice U2 album in there, right? Yep. So the winner might want to keep that, but they can get rid of the Jerry yoga thing. They give only falls nurses to uncle. To the dad. To the right? dad, yeah. The, the mum, the, I think the mum would love the Terry Wogan. Yeah. The thing. yoga for the, your sister. Right. Yeah. And all that. So is that, is that, that's, that's what you, you thought through, was it, or, or was it that there was a load of junk in the office? Did, or did you scoop them up with two arms and it's as much as you could carry down the corridor? Yeah. A little bit of that. But, yeah. Yeah. But okay. that's, that's me, uh, that's me workings on why you've got all that. Okay. Brilliant. That's, that's excellent. excellent. That's a lot of sense, yeah. um, that, that's coming up. Um, well, and uh, me, me mum sent some more. What we also need to do is got a little, he's got a letter from his mum. My mum did some more rockbusters for us. I reckon, I, th I reckon they're secretly listening, Carl. They've said they're not listening, but I reckon they are. Does well, that worry you? Well, let's play a record and let's hear, uh, let's hear your mum's rockbusters. <laughs> Better Warren G. Oh, oh, oh mate. well done. Regulators. I hope Nate's involved. Nate yeah. yeah. I hope so. I hope too. But you can't be in Nirvana. You know you're right on XFM 104.9. I had to, uh, Meet the uh, doctor for the for this fight thing uh, in the week, and uh, uh, it's the one who's off um, um, Big Brother. So oh, psychiatrist. Off, yeah, and um, but she's a medical doctor. And she's sort of um, uh, uh, big in the in the boxing sort of world as well. And um, one of the tests I had to do a punch test. The other test I had to do was to get in the bod pod. You really, know, the celebrity, 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 as fat celebrity, Yeah, yeah. And, and he wiped it, it down. Since he yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was a little bit nervous. And uh, so, I what does this do? What exactly does it do? The bod. What it does it. it, it uh, you do a, um, uh, a displacement sort of calibration with a, a known volume. All right. Just bear in mind that Carl's listening. So, if you want okay. to explain that, in what it does, Carl, is it works out your density. Okay, right. again, through, okay. Through, through, through displacement, it knows how much your, what your volume is for the air displaced, right, in this, in this thing, and, um... In layman's terms, what does it tell you? Uh, what it, 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 it tells you, well, it, it know, well, it knows, it knows what m muscle weighs, it knows what fat weighs, it knows your average density of your, your, your skeleton, uh, what height you are, so it works out from your volume and your density, um, it can work out, therefore, probably, what percentage of that is muscle, fat, bone, what, et cetera. What, um, what if you put in one of those, um... Oh, God. <laughs> no, go on, then. No, go on, what were you gonna ask? What, Just what? It, what would it do if you put in one of those pug dogs? What do you mean? What would it do? What, like on Ricky's lap? <laughs> no. Or no. Do, you, do you know those dogs that are all wrinkly and have got too much skin for the skeleton? Yeah. And it's all yeah. like caving in and folding over. Yeah. Would the machine go? Well, we know what you are, so it's all right. Or would it say, "Oh, what's going okay, on here?" Compute, yeah. 
you know what I mean? Like last week when you were laughing why do you at me want about- a, Why do you want to confuse machines? Do you remember when he put in Y to a computer it's search engine to try and confuse it? I love the fact- I want, I, thought, the, I want the computer to come back, why not, and your head explode. I mean, I love the idea that you're trying to- what- what- I mean, it-, it it's better than what I thought you were going to say, which is, what if you put a fly in there? <laughs> well, I don't worry about that. that man, I said don't let a fly in, <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway. So anyway, what percentage of you is muscle and what percentage of you is fat? Um, I'm, uh, I'm 25% fat. 25% fat? Yeah. Now what's written? Ri- and what, and most, like and most of me is muscle. Um, uh, we could bone density in that. Rick Waller was 60% fat, which I've looked into it and apparently is exactly the same as a pork scratching. Wow. <laughs> That's extraordinary. So he is, he is yeah. the qu- equivalent of a 30 <laughs> living, stone yeah, a pork giant pork scratching. scratching. Yeah. So, um, so is 20% fat, is that good or bad? No, it? 20% is alright, 25 is over. Right. I, I, um, uh, men, healthy, fit, lean men, um, uh, about eight, 18, 20. Um, oh, I'm 25. So you're a healthy, fit, no, lean man? No, no, 18, 20, I'm 25. Oh, you're 25? Yeah, right, yeah, right, so right. I'm, I'm five percent, yeah. um, over. And a boxer, uh-huh. a boxer that, that is in peak, you know, with the, uh, basically, you, you've seen the ones, they just look, you know, like Bruce Lee, yeah. they're eight percent fat. Eight percent fat. Well. So, uh, Is that I mean, good for you? Um, well, I don't think it's that bad for no. you. I mean, you know, you, you need a bit of that. Because Bruce, Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee supposedly, uh, I mean, there's sort of many rumours, I'm sure you're fascinated by them, Carl, conspiracy theories surrounding Bruce Lee's death. Yeah. One of which is that he, his body was, it's at the peak of physical perfection. He had an aspirin because of a headache. And it reacted with his, yeah. uh, cause just the impurities in the aspirin killed him. Yeah. Yeah, you're uh, yeah, uh, you Cause it, cause it, cause it's sort of like quite interesting and a bit weird. Yeah. It had yes, that. that's fact. It had, yeah. Well, are you aware that. of the fact that supposedly he actually cheated death, he actually faked his own death so he could work undercover for the Hong Kong police? Are you yeah. aware of that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And do you believe that as well? Not so, sh- not so convinced. Dunno. Do Dunno. you believe he could kill a man by putting all his energy into a trembling hand and touching him and every blood vessel burst? Well, it's just, uh, another form of trickery, isn't it? I mean, you <laughs> met up with, uh, yeah. with Darren, didn't you? Old, uh, yeah, met with Darren Brown, yeah. Darren Brown. Yeah, he's yeah. incredible. Yeah, he's probably the Britain's best illusionist, if you don't mind me saying. Yeah. yeah you can put that on a poster yeah. if you want. I'll tell you yeah. what, though. <laughs> right. What? Changing the subject a bit. Go we were on. talking about a fly getting in that pod. Yeah. yeah. Um, read in the week when I was searching for stuff to educate, you know, the educate Ricky section. Yeah. Which we will be uh, Do you want to answer that phone because it's annoying me? <sighs> who's phoning? I don't I'm know, it's obviously someone who doesn't know that you're talking at the moment, so leave it. Let, let, let it, finish it, the point, let him finish it the could point. be, it could be, um... Leave uh, it. It could be the head Just of... Leave it. Yeah, go on. Could be um, the head of XFM. Yeah. Oh, I'm so scared! No, no, no. Awards, we just go, we must no, I won't be embarrassing him, I ain't going, don't call me when I'm working. Nice. Right. Well, yeah. Five years yeah. machine, high yeah. five. Yeah. Raging against the machine. So on, anyway, yeah, right. We we're talking about flies yeah. getting in a pod. And do you know, like, how, um, a Barbie doll, if it was real, it wouldn't be able to work? Do you know right. what I mean? A yeah. Barbie doll, if a woman had the proportions. Sort of, yeah, she wouldn't be able to tie her shoelaces up and stuff because right. her, her legs are too long for her back and all that. Flies, scientists can't work out how they fly. It's a bee. It's a bee. It's a bee, not a fly. No, a fly as well. No. A fly is, it, apparently its body is like too big for its wings yeah. and um, they still can't work it out. Yeah. Our, our which, which, which in uh, your mind says what? <laughs> Something spooky? They, 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 they have worked out that they, it's, it's the fact that what they do, the, the, the wing actually beats a ridiculous at about 150 times a second. So it displaces air. Yeah. yeah. So, so they have I know what you mean. I know what you mean, it's, it's incredible that it can fly because it's got such small wings. Yeah. All right. And okay. it's a bee, not a fly. So, yeah, but other than that, good point. Uh, <laughs> a bit <of> Bowie. Ah, <laughs> uh, another classic. Be My Wife off the Low album, David Bowie. David Bowie. It's a cracker. Be My Wife off a Low. Very good indeed. Yeah. Rick, I, you know my frustration with the homeless? Yeah. You know they wind me up. <laughs> Walking through Soho last night, <laughs> I saw a homeless fella <laughs> reading a book. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this, if he's got the wherewithal to read a book, yeah. right, he's obviously, you know, he, he wants to keep himself occupied, his mind occupied, his mind educated. Yeah. My point is, why not, instead of reading a book, have a quick look through the job vacancies section of the Evening Standard, or maybe just take the time to fill in some kind of application form for, you know, maybe, you know, uh, so a job or something like that. The there was the, is, no, the, no, 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 no. is the ability to read with the ability to 
house yourself. Well, no, because what I'm saying is, it seems to me he's obviously got a certain, you know, grasp psychologically of, you know, his where they're he's not, not mental like, people who haven't got well, houses. Well, a lot of them are, Rick. I've well, seen them dancing have... and shouting and screaming, yeah. you know, and pissing in doorways and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're confusing homelessness with trampiness. Well, again, you know, some Rick, people just have left home and they haven't got a. Gervais, I'm not a sociologist. No. Sorry if I can't spot all the clever distinctions that yeah. a trained expert such as yourself can. Well, all I know is there was a fella reading a book. Well, you know, you know the ones that have got beards right. and sing little tunes and they they're smell of piss. <laughs> they're my favourite. Right? They are brilliant. Yeah, they and are they, funny. they're drinking special brew. Yeah. First thing one. That's an alcoholic okay. tramp. Yeah, right? they are, they are You know the ones fun. that sit with a dog or a big issue, mm -hmm. they just, they just haven't got their own place. Right. Do you see th Okay. Well, okay. again, I mean, there's- cause I- it is tricky finding the place, I know, cause I had to move out recently, and it's a nightmare. I had to get, like, estate agents on it, and I had to go and see a load of places, sure. and I was doing a job as well, you know, I still managed to fit it in. This guy's just lounging around on the street, yeah. so I'm surprised he, he can't find, find the loads time. of places to live. I'm surprised he can't find the time to visit a couple of different residences. Yeah. Cause there's some pretty cheap ones, you know, if you go kind of a bit farther out of London. Maybe it's cause he wants to live in the Soho area, and frankly I it's expensive. What I'm confused about is the number of homeless people that recognise me and say they enjoy the office. Mm. They've got to be watching it through Dixon's window. I think that's probably a demographic that's sort of hung over from uh, some of your previous TV work. The 11 o'clock show? Yeah, you know, or the, stuff like that. The or, ones or that used to slip by. Yeah, exactly. Tramps and the French for me. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah. yeah some yeah, of the weirdos. Sure. Or maybe sort of people who watched, you know, have watched the show and then have fallen on hard times since then, I don't know. And this is not necessarily linked. I mean, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought so. Carl's lost. Carl's lost in this conversation. Carl, are we boring you then? No, no, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's a bit tight, isn't it? What? Because it's like, I, I sometimes think it could have been me when I, when I see homeless people and that. Yeah. I just think, you know, I nearly killed a man once. It could have totally changed me life. So, whoa, 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 you want to see, yeah, you want to slow down there. Just want to back up for a second. Just back what? up for a second. No, you like, like, like that time when I was in Wales, right, and I picked up a big piece of slate and chucked it off the cliff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And it nearly hit a fella. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right, in that split second, if he would have decided to sort of go and pick up a shell that was close to the sea, <laughs> it, it, it could have hit him, yeah. and it would have killed him, yeah. and I, I wouldn't be sat here today. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's just all about luck, innit? Right, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So, uh, don't know, that's about it, really. That's, that's, <laughs> that's uh, the point. That's the political that's What was the point, again, point. that you, there for, b b well, for the grace just, of God to Yeah, no, he's saying, he's saying, you know, you should count our blessings, because, yeah. you know, anything can happen. Yeah, You never sure, know what's around sure. the corner. Sure. Yeah, it's like, what, if Carl hadn't met us, he'd still be in that little room making jingles. Now, he is a respected household name. Do you think <laughs> he packed the book <laughs> before he left home? To become homeless, he thought, right, I need the clothes, I'm gonna need the cigarettes, I'm gonna need the dog and the piece of string, and I probably need some, probably gonna need some reading literature as well, because I'm gonna get pretty bored, like, just sitting in the street yeah. begging all day. Do you, so, maybe, maybe it's so one maybe of those- So maybe I should take- I wanna catch up on, um, some, uh, some of the stuff I haven't read, you know? Or maybe it's one of those themed holidays, you know those trendy middle class people? Right. They go on, like, the adventure holidays and danger holidays, you know? maybe the, the latest one, amongst sort of, like, yuppie types, yeah. is, uh, homeless holidays. Exactly. yeah. They, they, they pay, like, ten thousand pounds. Exactly. And they really they get, get a little the experience. Area, sort of the streets of And home. people come up to them and abuse them. Yeah. They're, they're all played, they're all yeah, actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They get beaten uh, up at night when they're sleeping under a bridge. They, 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 you know, they get to, to try a really safe sort of form of heroin. Sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, Um, yeah. uh, that uh, they, sounds brilliant. No, that's, uh, that's worth marketing, Theme really. holidays. Theme home holidays like that. Home, you can have homeless. Yeah. You can have, like, rent boy holidays. <laughs> Find out what it's like to be yeah. a rent boy for three weeks. Yeah, and then, yeah, they have to, they have and to make a little bit of money on the they side. They have to wean them off it. Exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah, they go, no, don't keep, don't, don't keep, keep sucking, sucking it. it. You can stop finish now. You've, uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're a bank manager again. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I've just got the taste for it, to be honest. <laughs> well, can that happen? I, that, can that, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's worth knowing if that, if that is a possibility. Carl, that's worth that, Carl's worried. Well, yeah. we haven't said anything. We haven't said anything. We're just we haven't said anything wrong, so Carl. Don't get there's to be no complaints. We haven't said anything. The words suck, as far as oh. I can work out. No, it's not a banned word on the radio. Is it, is it Rockbusters time? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Rockbusters. Well, let's, let's play a tune and then we'll come back with Rockbusters. Mm. Are mm. we gonna hear your mums before mm. we have Best yours. holiday I've ever had. Mm. 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 I'll get a taste for it. Mm. A new American band called My Morning Jacket from the Sweat Bees EP that's called Low Day. Like that? Yeah, nice. It's good, yeah. Um, I brought in some adverts, my favourite adverts to play. Really? Yeah, that's all, they're all new ones as well. We got those now? Can we hear them? Do you want to do them now or keep, oh. them, keep them listening and play them later? No, do them now. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, they are good. 
XFM indeed, Steve. Absolutely. Sorry, uh, I'm just fiddling around here. Uh, what are you looking at? Well, I'm just looking at some of the emails, uh, and if I can find it, I've got an absolute treat from you. Go on. Dickie Anderson. Is he- Anders, uh, he's emailed in Richard again. Anderson, our yeah. biggest fan. Biggest fan. He said, uh, dear Ricky, sorry for not tuning in recently, only I've been busy watching a puddle evaporate. <laughs> Glad to hear you haven't tinkered with the show's winning formula by trying to introduce any quality into it. <laughs> That's from, uh, Richard Anderson. So, uh, good to have Dickie Anderson listening again. Oh, Cause he's, uh, he just keeps us on our toes, you know. Yeah. And, uh, good work, Rich. Thanks for that. I wonder what he looks like. Dickie Anderson? Yeah. I think he's a good-looking guy. For some reason, I've always imagined him as being slightly older, with maybe a beard. Oh, no, you know I, what think, I, mean? like I think of, of him- I think of him sort of cords and now and sweater. Definitely cords. Gla I, I think he looks like, um, maybe the Proclaimers. Yeah, but right. again, with a beard or at least a moustache. Yeah. I don't know why I'm seeing some kind of facial and hair. And he's sort of like, he, he's sort of, uh, he likes the cure and the Swiss nut, but, uh, and, uh, he snarls at everything. He thinks everything's pure old. Yeah. I bet he yeah. prefers Radio 5. Do you think Radio 5? Yeah. Five, uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. four. I bet he's a real s music snob as well. I bet it's like there's certain bands. It's like rubbish. The Blazing Squad, rubbish. All pop music, rubbish. Britney Spears, rubbish. Is 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 this defamation of character? Um, he slagged you off enough times, Rick, and the show. I don't know. And if I'm only saying it's my opinion. Exactly. I imagine. So uh, yeah, I mean, you we know. don't know. I mean, you know, you, you could be a lovely guy. I'm getting. To be honest, I'm getting to like him. What I like about Richard is he he's willing to say what he thinks. Well, it's not- it's more than that. Oh, it's a bit like Eminem. No, it's- yeah, no, it's- it's more than that. He actually hits on the truth too often yeah. for my liking. Yeah, well that's- I mean, this is a shoddy show, with very, very little to offer. You gotta remember though, it is a, uh, bronze winning <laughs> show. We did win a bronze <laughs> award at the Sony's <laughs> last year. One yeah. of the most coveted of the awards. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. bronze. Uh, to, in my- in my opinion, the bronze is slightly better than the gold. Well, a lot of people don't win the bronze, right? You gotta remember that, that there's not many people who win the gold, bronze. gold, just, you know, gold's got no intrinsic value, it's just a currency, and in my opinion, bronze is better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In a way. Carl, Rockbusters, well, you <clears throat> Carl. Yeah, no, listen. we, uh, yeah. we did get a bronze, but this year, we introduced Rockbusters. <laughs> Things <laughs> will be changing. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, hey, yeah, hey, we didn't introduce Rockbusters, Carl. Please don't tar us with that brush. Yeah, you introduced it. And also, it. do you remember the do you remember the show that got that bronze? Was the show with the complaint that yeah. was upheld by the radio authority? Was it really? Yeah, the show that got the got the award and was nominated was the one with the only upheld complaint we've ever had. Do you think if we hadn't discussed that particular subject for quite as long, we could have got the silver? Um, I think it was the mention of. And I, I say this meaning male birds yeah. oh. of all the cocks. Right. Yeah, but do you think the Sony committee was going? I enjoyed the show. If yeah. they had yeah. mentioned cocks, yeah. meaning birds, yeah, bee birds, yeah, so I might have given it the silver. Yeah. So um, yeah, <laughs> Carl getting nervous. Rockbusters then. Yeah. Uh, chance to win all that stuff Steve was talking about before. Uh huh. Um, we we'll give initials and a cryptic clue, and it's a band, and there's three yeah. of them, and you email in Ricky at xfm dot yeah. uk. Right. Do you want some of my mum's? Well, I think before you give us your own, we should hear your mum's just to sort of set the tone and for oh, people to get their heads around the whole she idea. She sent some more, they're still not that up to scratch. Um, <laughs> first one, this group are nice on toast. Marmalade? Jam. Yeah. Which one? Jam. Okay. Marmalade would have worked. Marmalade's just as good, yeah. yeah. This man liked his wine. This man liked his wine? Dean uh. Martin. <laughs> What? <laughs> so no cryptic clue, just a man who drinks? Yeah. Uh <laughs> But that- isn't there like <laughs> a myriad of rock stars pop stars who like booze? I love that! <laughs> <laughs> that's his wine! I don't but think anyone would have ever got that. <laughs> that's fantastic! <laughs> this man liked his wine! Dean Martin! This man liked his golf. <laughs> oh, clubby- clubby- <laughs> oh, clubby chip face? No, um, uh, Bunk- Bunk- Bunker Bing Smith. Coffee. Bit of being crossbow, yeah. yeah. He liked his golf. Yeah. Uh, that's- that's genius. This, this man, man liked his wine. <laughs> Uh, just a couple more. <laughs> Hope you're not speeding when you meet these. The police. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great! And, uh, oh. is there any other good ones? Oh. Uh, sounds like these lads work for the <laughs> hospital. The, 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 the porters. Um, Say that again? Sounds like these lads, uh, work for the hospital. Jerry and the pacemakers. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we'll, we'll- Carl, I have to say, if there was ever, in the future, any doubt that you were your mother's son, <laughs> that would pay that. 
<laughs> Believe me, you great. are a chip off we'll the let, Okay, part. well let's um, let's uh, so we have a little record and then educating Ricky and Rockbusters. So the show really of the, of the prizes. <laughs> <coughs> Jerry Halliwell's yoga video, uh, DVD, I think it's the latest one in that particular series. So if you've already <laughs> worked yourself up to, you know, you're looking pretty good, but yeah. there's still a little bit of uh, flab maybe around the arse or breast area, then Jerry can help you out there. Yeah. We got uh, Only Fools and Horses, this is the Christmas special from last year. Um, Jonathan Ross was giving that one on his morning show this morning, I don't know if they're just oh, trying to get rid of him. Um, top uh, of the morning to you from Terry Wogan. That's his uh, <laughs> two feet <laughs> CD. I'm sure they were giving that away. You've got the are. likes of Love Theme from Top Gun. Obviously, Take My Breath Away by Berlin. That's on there. Uh, what else we got? We got the Pretenders. You mentioned them earlier. Alison Moyes on there. Uh, Annie Lennox featuring Paul. I Simon. still call her Alf. Loaf is on there. I'm talking to the meat variety. Oh, obviously. <laughs> um, Miss Tina Turner on Silent Wings. There's a you know an incredible selection there. Perfect for saying mum or um, a, a deaf aunt. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the Manic Street Preacher's Great Hits DVD. Aunt? Anyway, how's your aunt, the, the one who farted for five minutes, Carl? Also got the U2D, uh, I'm just not going well. the U2D. What's up with her? No, no. She had the best chair at Old Memphis. Uh, that's is all she alright? Yeah, she'll yeah, be alright. Right. Yeah. Okay, guys, so that's the prizes up for grabs. So we're having two conversations <laughs> yeah. there. I, I think we're a little bit too relaxed in this show. Sure. I mean, people tuning in will just think, do those three people know they're going out live? Or is yeah. that a conversation, like, between the records? Yeah. I, I, it, it's, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> it probably <laughs> sounds like, yeah, the record is playing. <laughs> yeah. We think the record's playing yeah. and we're just chatting. Oh dear. What what we got? What we got, Carl? What we got, Carl? 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 Come on. Eminem. Lose yourself. Back on form there. Absolutely, like, yeah, yeah. It's good tune. Good, good. On XFM 104.9, Ricky Jabay, Steve Merchant. Carl Pilkington, more importantly. Carl, come on then. Right. I need some education. I no, need, it's uh, Rockbusters. I know, but I need first. education. I need I know, some I know education. Know but we've promised some Rockbusters. Educating Ricky, I will be ditching before Christmas. Why? <sighs> it will be going. Really? Why? Because there's nothing it's, out there. It's just struggling. I was thinking on the way in today, I can either do, um, doing something more with Steve, because we've done, like, the Ricky angle. Either yeah. we can do um, educating Steve. No, either like a, a bit of a call my bluff type thing, but it's like a con merchant, and I have to like trick you. Okay, right, con so merchant, I'm the I like con it. And the other merchant, and okay. then oh, I was thinking something that you just do do some work, and you have a moan for a bit. Okay. And that's a bit, that, that's like a wine merchant that you just like <laughs> whine on about something. <laughs> uh, again, just, I, I, I the pun comes first with uh, yeah. you, doesn't it? Yeah. You've worked out that first. Yeah. That's like, uh, okay. I told you I've come up with a couple of sitcoms for me. Go on. One is I've got an imaginary navy called Merchant's Navy. Yeah. It's just, it's, I've got yeah. a navy. In it. And the premise is I've got a navy. Yeah. And another one is I live in- And that's as far as he's got as well. Yeah, that's just all I've come up with. If you've got any ideas there, uh, Carl, yeah. that'd be much yeah. appreciated. Another one is I live in quite a salubrious part of North London, and that's called Merchant of Little Venice. And I live in Little Venice. Uh, I d again, I don't know what happens. I don't know what happens, but, uh, yeah. any ideas, <laughs> Carl? You know, I've got one where I play an Italian waiter, and it's called Shut Up a Gervais. Yep. That's so, uh, we're wor that's the one we're working on there, actually, to follow up with The Office. Do you like that? Yeah. 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 Is it, yeah. We'll do something with that. Yeah. But <laughs> at the moment, we've got Rockbusters. Okay. okay. So, uh, these are mine. Um, number one, you've been dunking that for too long. <laughs> that's LB. You've been dunking so, that for too long. Oh God, that's too easy. That's yeah, but too I easy. I always tease them, don't I? I give them something to make them feel like they're gonna win something and then I, I hit them hard with a tricky one. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, go on. So, the first one, so that's the cryptic clue for a band or an artist. Their initials are LB and yeah. the cr cryptic clue. You've been dunking that for too long. Yeah. So that's the first one. Second one, uh, you won't be able to play that game in this pub because the table ain't big enough. Right? <laughs> could be an old artist, could be a new one, could be a band. What's the initials? Uh, FD. Alright? FD. You won't be able to play that game in this pub. The table ain't big enough. And the final one, uh, well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's over. Right? Yeah. That's, that's the third cryptic clue, the initials being G. K. Right? Yeah. Well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's over. They're the three clues. All you gotta do is email in ricky.jv. <laughs> that's great! That's genius! Which one? The last one. Right? That yeah, is genius. Any, that's the anything. best one you've ever done. Right? Uh, Ricky.Gervais. Uh, <laughs> That's great. And uh, the middle one. At UK. Okay. Email in them three answers, you win the stuff. We have still got educating Ricky. <laughs> Uh, go on, let's have one, let's have one. No, I'll, give, I'll give you the titles. Give me the titles, yeah, go on, yeah. Right, you've got, um, three bits of info that's gone on in the world. Yeah. Or, uh, Possibly. Sort of, 
sort of uh, information. Older times. Old Never go further back than the 17th century, do we? Well, uh, no, let's, 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 let's make it clearer. There's three bits of information <laughs> that people have put on the net. <laughs> <laughs> Whether or not they're true. Well, yeah. Different issue. And that he still gets it a little bit wrong oh, in translation. Always, yeah. And sort of adds bits to it. <laughs> yeah. Go right, on. So we've got, uh, I love it when he plays out those historical dialogues. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's yeah. like the 15th century where he goes, so anyway, a bloke says to himself, <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what I'll do. <laughs> so the horse isn't happy. Yeah. yeah go on. Right, so the three that you've, uh, you've got a pick from, you've got, uh, get your kit on, we're off down the butchers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. let's get your kit on, we're off down the butchers, yeah? Uh, we've right. got, um, wash up with you. <laughs> <laughs> wash up with wash you. Wash up with you! Ah! Yeah! And, yeah. Uh, the last one, I couldn't really think of a, a good title for, so yeah. it's just, uh, <laughs> why don't they just get a diary or some paper or something? <laughs> We've got to make this oh. into a book. This has got to be a book oh. for Christmas. God. Chapter headings. <laughs> Oasis, Live Forever on XFM 104.9. Right, we're in the swing of things. It's my, it's my and Steve's favourite bit of the whole show. This is what we do this show for now. Educating Ricky. Yeah. Go for it, Carl. You said that learning can't be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll go for the one, what's the one about the butcher going down the butcher shop? You've got, uh, get your kit on, we're off down the butchers. Yeah. You going for that one? Yeah. Well, do you know the saying, oh, um, <laughs> don't let the cat out of the bag? Yeah. Do you know, do you know what it means? Yeah, well, don't give away a secret. Right. Well, do you know it came about? No. no. Well, uh, ages ago, <laughs> before, like, <laughs> ages ago. 17th century? Yeah, before, like, yeah, yeah, 17th's before, good. Yeah. Before, like, you know, proper butchers and Jewhursts and supermarkets and that, you used to get these blokes who oh, right. who sold meat. Right. Right? Butcher, butchers, they were called then, I think. Yeah, yeah, but the difference was they didn't stay in the same place, they moved about. Right? So they'd turn up on a street corner. Right. And you'd have, like, loads of carrier bags of, like... Carrier uh, bags? <laughs> yeah, with, you know, with meat in and that, and people would Plastic be like, carrier bags. Yeah, yeah with whatever. mobile butcher on them. Yeah. yeah. Right, so, uh, <laughs> And an email address. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. People went, right, yeah, I need some meat, right, so they'd, uh, <laughs> they'd go up to this bloke and, uh, say, what have you got? And he'd say, well, I've got a, got a, you know, you can have a, a bag full of pig, or you can have, uh, whatever, a bag full of chicken, whatever. Yeah. And they'd go, yeah, how much? And they'd go, oh, you know. Call it, call it a fiver, whatever. Yeah. And, um, they'd, they'd buy them, and to, to make more money, they didn't always fill the bag with what they said was in it. Oh, I knew, I thought that might be the case. Right? Yeah. So what they, they used to do- Did they put cats in there? Yeah. But I don't see why, what- Okay, so sometimes they would put a cat in the bag. They'd put and a cat pretend in it the was bag. chicken or whatever else. Yeah, so- but why was a cat any cheaper than a chicken? Cause cats are wandering around the streets, aren't they? Chickens aren't. So they'd, they'd get a chicken, they'd put a chicken on the top so that when they look in it, they'd go, yeah? That's all right. Got a bag full of chicken. They'd get home to make the dinner, yeah. and they'd be like, "What are we having tonight?" And they'd go, "Well, you'll never guess." <laughs> and they'd they'd have like, you know, well, you can have a chicken leg, and you know, but it wouldn't got, be it would be a cat. Got, yeah. <laughs> they'd have to defrost a pizza. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Did they mind that they were eating cat then, in the, in those days? He didn't say. He just was saying about the saying, uh, "Don't let the cat out of the bag." It's like you know. Uh, if they see that, they're gonna go mad. I, I'm, I'm, I'm mildly disappointed with this story. It's all right if it's true, but you know, there's something about it's just. I want to know more. He always leaves yeah. you. Is it Carl doesn't quench your thirst for knowledge? He creates more. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Well, yeah, he's like the pot noodle of information. Yeah, do you know, I, I, he never. I want to go. I'm not nourished by it. It's like if, he, if for every fact he tells me, there's ten others that yeah. spring up that yeah. I have to get clear. Uh, well, yeah. So it was the people that were doing this. It was the it was the dodgy butchers that coined this phrase. Were they saying to each other, "Don't let the cat out the bag"? I <laughs> what I mean by that, Jack, is don't let them see the cat. Yeah, what yeah. we stuffed in there. Yeah, dodgy butcher. That's another phrase, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the first one. Uh, is that a euphemism or is that yeah, dodgy butcher? As is meat delivered round the back. Sure. So that's that's that one. So let's get your kit on. What was that? It's a, a euphemism for uh, homosexuality. Okay. And meat, presumably, in that means different things. It doesn't. M it, it's it's a word that is also a male would, would bird. Would it mean chicken or cat <laughs> necessarily in that context? <laughs> or, well, I suppose it could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Carl's look, just looks, look at him, it, it, Carl looks at you like a cat. Yeah. Whenever we leave him behind, if we don't talk, like, straight at him and let him see our lips moving, mm. and it's, you know, monosyllabic and very easy to understand. Look, he's lost, he's lost in that conversation there, he just drifted off, didn't you, Carl? No, I just was also thinking on animals and that, something else I was gonna use. Go on. Was, um, is This it... isn't a radio show, is it? I just suddenly caught myself, like, this I is no, this is nothing. I told you that before, it's, it's been bad today. No, but I mean, it's the way, this, this casual way that, it's like we, we almost have no regard for our listener. And I'm not proud of that, I just don't know what to do about it. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't know how to do this properly. I, I mean, we're just chatting here. I mean, it's only Anderson who's seen through us. And yeah. that surprises me, that more people haven't... I mean, what are the figures like? Do people listen to this show? I'll find out for you. You keep saying that. But, um, yeah, there's this parrot. And, uh, <laughs> apparently it, it lives I mean, Rick, it's unique, <laughs> if nothing else. I mean, when you wake up with Woken tomorrow, <laughs> you're not even gonna yeah. hear him start a line with there was this parrot. Go on, there was this parrot, yeah, go on. And it can talk and that. Someone's obviously... T you know, tore it out, how to speak and that, and mm. um, it flew away, oh. and it's living in this church, <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, people are at the church doing oh. hymns and that, and then- Trouble's brewing. In, be in between <laughs> the hymns- If that parrot we was owned by an old, uh, miner who used to swear a lot, yeah. well, then the vicar it, is gonna be- it? is gonna be really annoyed. That vicar, yeah. that vicar's gonna- go on. I just hope he stays quiet <laughs> during the vicar's <laughs> sermons. Yeah, go on. Have you read it? No, go on. <laughs> you read it. No, go on, no, go on. Cause that's that's what happens, right? Go on, in, tell us, join, join the hymns, it's sort of effing and jeffing and stuff. Effing really. <laughs> and jeffing? Yeah. And everyone's like going, oh, you know, it's quite funny, really. You know, it doesn't know what it's doing. Everyone's yeah. having a laugh. Yeah. But it's causing a havoc at funerals. <laughs> 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 when did this happen? Uh, uh not, and not years ago. John uh, was a much loved man. He was a wanker. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, so that was another what story. What can you I... say about Uncle John? Bollocks! <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love, I love the fact that when you look at things, you go, "That's interesting." The parrot that swears at funerals. That would be amazing. And it stays with you. You see, for a simple man, you retain an awful lot of knowledge. It's just all rubbish. It's all you. Do you know what I mean? If you just replaced all this rubbish with good stuff, yeah. you'd be an intellectual. Yeah. Really. Cause you, I mean, your, your retention is fantastic. Yeah. So- Did I lose you again there, did I? So, so Was it the word retention? We've still got, uh, wash up with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should we play a record and do wash yeah, up with you? Yeah, yeah. We'll play a bit of Aqualung then. <laughs> Aqualung! <laughs> Alright, that's Aqualung. Uh, good time's gonna come, innit? Right, Carl. Come on, educating Ricky. So, don't let the cat out of the bag. That's where that uh, comes from. Mm -hmm. Comes from a crafty butcher. <laughs> right, go on then. So the next uh, little headline is uh, wash up with you. Wash up with you. Go on. You want to know about that? Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> it's a survey that they did. <laughs> survey that they did this week. They. Yeah. Some some university did some survey. Brilliant. Did a world test on yeah. washing up. Yeah. And, uh, each country were given 140 pots to clean. <coughs> um, Brits were the quickest. Yeah? Yeah. Um, Turkey were the slowest <sighs> at washing up. The Turks. Uh, it's not because the little fellas that work in the kitchens were no, is it? They can't reach. Spain. <laughs> Spain were the cleanest and the, uh, Germans were pretty good as well, so. <laughs> I don't know where to start with this. <laughs> I, I, honestly, Steve, I don't know where to start with that. I Look at his face. You, it was really light, right? We've had the parrot, right? These are the things that I found. Found the parrot, right? <laughs> I've told you about the dog in the car wash. Right, you didn't tell me about that. You said there's a car wash for a dog. That's what you told me. Yeah, but the parrot. That's... You said there's a parrot. What? It's a problem at funerals. Yeah. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing. And, Do you understand? And uh, I, they used to eat cats. What else have we got? There's an elephant in India. We saw feet. Why? There's an elephant in India with sore feet. I'm interested. Why? Um, some- uh, <laughs> Tap dancing? <laughs> Why? So yeah, I didn't write that much about it. He's trying to break Roy Castle's record. <laughs> <laughs> He's still going. Come on, come on, what is it? What is it? Think. It's a uh, elephant and it was really old. It was about 76. Right. And it had sore feet because it's old and- They don't make stairs that big, do they? And the, road, the, 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 the roads are bad and that. Yeah, go so, on. So, um, they said, what are we gonna do? 
And the town was like, oh, you know, we're used to seeing it around, it's part of the thing, you know, we don't want it to have sore feet. Yeah. So they got some slippers made for it. <laughs> <laughs> and it had like a picture of the elephant looking happy wearing some slippers. <laughs> I love him! I love Carl, his world! Think of it, where did you see this picture? That was on the internet. <laughs> right. That's a lesson though for any elephants listening. You know, don't wear stilettos to work every no. day. Because you can do your feet in. So that it's but don't, a, have don't elephants have really bad memories? No, they're they have really memories. good memories. Oh, do they? Mm. Yeah. Oh, right, that's good then. <laughs> no, I just, I, I just thought they'd forget where they put them. I thought there was something about, <laughs> about elephants having bad, <laughs> bad memories and <laughs> that. It goes on, where's my slippers? Yeah. I sure I left them by the tech. So, 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 sorry, there's a, the elephant walk around wearing <laughs> slippers? Yeah, yeah, there is, th that's in, uh, what in India. What slippers? Those sort of old man ones with the sort of check Well, round design. ones, I imagine. Yeah. 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 Big yeah. round ones. There was that going on. And is it happening? Is it happier? I mean, does it feel yeah, more satisfying? Yeah, it looked it. Did it look- <laughs> <laughs> How can you tell the elephants, please? Uh, uh, what else is there? Uh, mm. there was a woman who's had a- had a breast insure for 150 grand. Right. Okay. Any okay, more information there? What? Third party fire and theft? I don't know, it just had, it had a picture of her with them, like, you know, out. <laughs> 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 I just thought, yeah, you should get them covered. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a proper joke. He's so. look at his little face, he smiles. I'd like to see you on one of the sort of TV panel games. If they could bring back sort of celebrity squares, yeah. it'd be amazing as the centre square. Oh, that would be Wouldn't incredible. Be or um, on the countdown in Dictionary Corner. Diction- I imagine him in Dictionary well, Corner. Well, I'd come up with cat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mem- Memdlint. <laughs> yeah, what does what? that mean, Carl? It just meant anything you want it to mean. <laughs> oh, what I've got, there, there's a dog that's got a cough. <laughs> in Singapore, because it smokes twenty a day. <laughs> right, okay, another one. So another no, one. no, no, it's, it's the last one, and it's yeah. say that the last one we've got is why I don't. Think Sorry, what was that? Wash up with you? That was it. But they, they, put, they. That was that it? That they was it. What, <laughs> survey of washing pots and pans. I didn't understand. You said who, you said Italy were the cleanest. No, Spain. No, Brits were the quickest. Yeah. We were the quickest, but s Italy was the, the Spain cleanest. was the cleanest. Turkey were the slowest. Yeah. yeah. Spain were the cleanest. But why weren't we cleaner? Because we were washing it. Why were we not paying attention to the? We did it rubbish. We did it quick. We did it quickly, but but oh, I don't right, know so what it was oh, being right, rated who was, on. Who was doing it? Was it Lynette Newman or Ainsley Howard? She's quick. Both of them are quick. Yeah. Well, they've got like kind of slaves that do it for them. Did we? Did we use? Did we use fairy liquid? Don't know. It didn't. It didn't. Yeah. Have did a we lot. use a whole bunch of boys' games? Didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> just like <said> the <laughs> It just said, uh, you know, that, that, that. Did uh, we, who did had the softest hands? Who had the softest hands? <laughs> So, I didn't, it didn't say, I didn't- Why is it we don't get notified that this is taking place? I don't know. When I was a kid, no one ever said, you know, we need recruits because we're- we're doing a survey on who can wash yeah. up the quickest. Are you disappointed in yourself with that one, Carl? It, it is pretty dull, <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> and that is why we've got to bring in either con merchant- okay. Or a wine merchant- Or shut or, up at your face. Yeah. With would you be able to, if I asked you, if I put you on the spot in the next, sort of, after the next record, would you be able to give an example of how Con Merchant would work? I mean, is there something you could do, just to sort of s experiment Should we play a record? Should we play a record? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, a I can do better than that. Yeah. What? Ads. Go on. Oh. XFM. Travis on XFM 104.9 on Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant, Carl Pukerton. We're doing Educating Ricky. Right, final one. Come on, Carl. Right, what was it? <laughs> it was, uh... <laughs> Why don't they just get a diary or some paper or something to write on? Yeah. Yeah. Cause Snappy. I couldn't- well, I couldn't think of a heading for it. It's basically, uh, Go on. people who have tattoos, I've never understood it, right? Um, that they have something put on their arm. Well, sorry, have we started the educate? Is this part of it? Are you educating me? This is something that I, I, will be useful in my life that I didn't know about. Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> no, it's just like they've got, they've got a machine <laughs> out, right. right, that, um, does tattoos. Um, you, you, uh, you come up with a design you want and you sort of, it, this machine scans it and, uh, you put your arm in this thing and you press print or whatever and then it, it does the tattoo on your hand or on your What, arm. like loads of little needles that follow a pattern? Yeah. The computer, basically, is it? yeah. Is it a real tattoo? It's a proper tattoo. It's a proper tattoo. one. The fella said, um. Well, as long as it goes out, it pierces the skin with a. With a I edges, just wondered if it's one of those kind of, you know, those kind of. No, it like must be lots of, lots of little needles or a moving needle that can. Go Sorry, along but how it. is this cleaned, like in between each person? Don't know, probably. I don't know. Well, no, it's not. It's only that if it's one needle, it's just the head, isn't it? If it's one needle that moves, right. does it like a. Like loads of little. Um, what are we gaining from a, a machine doing it? Just because you know they're gonna sort of mess it up. But hold on, how do you keep your arm still? Because your skin moves slightly. It's, it's a machine it's sort of strapped. 
to your arm. Right, and so the fella, it spreads. I mean, so the fella it... said that the tricky thing was in all this, it was the fact that, um, you know, nobody would let him test it out on anyone else, so he had to do it himself. But did it work? Because the thing is with a tattoo yeah, artist, they yeah. can see when your skin's moved and they can see what they've done and they keep wiping it and looking, whereas a machine's just gotta trust itself. Yeah. So, I think one needle would- could go wrong. If it was a lot of needles that just, that it just came down, like, you know, a thousand needles that was an imprint. Yeah. But, no, th obviously I'm asking someone who's- uh, uh, hasn't delved any further than there's a machine that can give you a tattoo. That's all you've got at the moment, isn't it? Well, I'm- uh, yeah, basically- That's all you've got? I mean, that's- that's what I've got because I'm not a fan of tattoos, I don't- But where did you read this again? This was, uh, Internet? This was on the internet, yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. And- I, d I just don't understand why people do it. That's- that's what got me attention. Cos me, um- Sorry, what have- what have I learned from this? Um, that if you- if you wanted to get one, you know, you can get one done by a machine now. <laughs> you know, people say machines are sort of taking over and that. And- and there's another one. But it's just the fact- I mean, I don't know. I, I so give us the snappy title of this- this education why again. Why don't they just get a diary or some paper or something to write it on? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I always think when I see people with- with loads of tattoos, like there's that fella who we were talking about the other week in Scotland who oh. was covered 99% in tattoos. Yeah. It's just like, what have you done that for? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can't get rid of it now. You've- you've- you've done it now. Yeah. Um, my- one of my uncles, right, Tattoo Stan, he- <laughs> he, um, he's just caked in them. Tattoos. Right. <laughs> I don't think he's my proper uncle, but it's just like- <laughs> me, me dad's Tattoo got Tattoo Stan! No, my dad's that's, got- That's- that's a province in Russia, isn't it? My dad's got loads of mates who- When like, you say he's not your proper uncle? I don't, do you know how like when just someone comes around with school? Right, Uncle Stan? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And there was like, there was um, my dad had loads of mates like that, there was John the Screw. <laughs> <laughs> right, so he either works in a prison or he likes to have sex. Cabby. <laughs> Cab driver. <laughs> okay. There was Jimmy the Hat, I don't know what he Jimmy did. Jimmy the Hat? Yeah. Oh. And, did uh, he wear and a hat? No. No. There was um, <laughs> there was Fred the Veg. <laughs> you sure he wasn't a relative? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Fred the Veg used to get us like big bags of potatoes and that. Fred Veg, okay. And there was- there was Tattoo Stan. Right. And he was just caked in them, and I used to always look at him thinking, why have you done that? I must have only been like, you know, six I or suppose seven. If, if you're born with a name like Tattoo Stan, <laughs> exactly. you're destined, Sorry, aren't and, you Were really? they like a 1950s gang? I'm worried I'm about- like, I'm worried about- doing a bank job. What was his name? The Hat? What was his Jimmy, name? Jimmy the Hat. I'm worried yeah. about Jimmy the Hat yeah. not having a hat. <laughs> I don't understand it. Are you sure he didn't have a hat? Not when I met him. Did he ever wear a hat? <laughs> I didn't see him that much. Do you think it was a joke, like, you know, when, um, y your mate's sort of like, you know, uh, eight foot and huge, you call him Shorty. Little John or Tiny? Mm. Do you think- Well, the, the fact thing... that he never wore Yeah, they went, hold on, I've, I've noticed some hat about Jim. Go on. No hat. And I go, oh, true, let's call him Jim the Hat. <laughs> Jim the Hat, yeah. But me, um, me Uncle Stan, he had like loads of them. He did, did them himself. Oh dear. And it was always <laughs> that thing. God. What was it, what was it things like? It was, he had like the- A cross. The cut here cut one. Cut here, on made the in neck. Britain. And if you're going to do them yourself, I'd say at least make sure you're, go you're sort of a good drawer. Yeah. And, and don't it, do it in the mirror so it comes out backwards. Well that- that was the other thing. But like, I remember he did, um, I mean names are alright. He had like all his kids' names down his arm. <laughs> and, right. uh, what are they called? Yeah. Oh, God, it is. <laughs> that's Tattoo Stan Jr. Yeah. And, um. Paul shits the bed. <laughs> um. I'm trying to. Uh, oh, <laughs> Wabai Kate. Yeah, yeah. But he yeah, has. Uh, <laughs> Frankie never amounts to anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So he had, like, uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Johnny, I don't think he's mine. <laughs> So, he did uh, all this stuff. Oh, I don't even know why I'm telling you about tattoos. No, 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 I, Carl! Hey, so, I to be honest, I don't know that if- I don't know if- maybe you just have to picture this, but my picture- my <laughs> sister took, had to take a photo once, she was working in like a factory. Not to denigrate people who work in factories, but there happened to be a particularly oddball, kind of lank-haired, weird guy living, uh, working in this factory. And he made his own- he did his own tattoos, and she took a photo of it because she was so extraordinary. He'd drawn it himself. Now, bear in mind, it was the kind <laughs> of thing you saw when you were doing art when you were like, <laughs> 15. <laughs> this was the sort of person who designed their own, like, rock- Heavy rock album cover. <laughs> yeah, he's that sort of person. So, pr I mean, like, was it, was it a dragon draw? with breasts? You're not far off, Rick. No, you're not far off. I'll tell you what it was. He had this tattooed on his back. It took up his entire back. She took a photo of it for me. He drew it himself. He had it tattooed himself, and it was just too much detail. Too yeah. much detail for a tattoo. It needs to be fairly simple, I think, to make a mm, yeah. tattoo. Mm -hmm. It was. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was a, a naked female vampire having a shower. <laughs> why was she having a shower? Having a shower, well, that's why she was naked. Yeah. And so she had- she she'd been out, she'd, uh, she was uh, presumably- uh, She'd been uh, out, been, been out with yeah. a lot of blood. Well, yeah, well, she 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 uh, she was naked, so she, you could see her her her, her naked body. Yeah. Uh, she's quite a beautiful vampire, yeah. relatively speaking. Yeah. Um, although the symmetry of her face was somewhat off. Yeah. The only thing I think that gave well, her yeah, away bad spine. was that she had um, she did have some pointed teeth. I, right. mean, I think that was how you knew she was a vampire. Right. Was she looking? But, um, she, was she, looking she was having a shower. Was yeah, that is weird, isn't it? <laughs> well, it well, but he sort of drew in. When he said to the eye, I said, "Listen, I I want a, a naked bird, right? But I don't want to be." Gratuitous. He goes, well, you could put her in the shower, because then they went, pop well, her in the shower. That leads to give some kind yeah, of that's the plot, that's music, the plot. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, it's justified <laughs> within the story <laughs> if she's <laughs> in the shower. Sure, sure, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll have that. So, Carl. So. Yeah, okay. Um. A any other nicknames your friends of your family had? What was your nickname, Carl? Just, uh, Pilkey. <laughs> because for a minute <laughs> I thought Carl the Veg would have made a lot of sense. Yeah, Carl the Veg. And what, what? Why has your dad got a little tattoo, dopey twat, on his arm? <laughs> right, we'll do the answers to, uh, Rockbusters next, yeah? <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. Buzzcocks. Still sounds brilliant, that. It is a crack. They're from Manchester as well, Carl. So they've got a little bit of pride there, eh? I think one of them's, uh, one of my mate's dad's. Really? Yeah, I think so. What's his nickname? Well, his name was, I don't really want to say his name. Oh, uh, okay. Laurie, his first name was. Yeah. Still, uh, still is, probably. Yeah. Uh, and what, you know those little fellas at school that didn't know each other, weren't related and weren't friends because it would be too obvious, that they had webbed, um, hands and big heads? Yeah. What, what were they, did they have any nicknames? It, again, too obvious, isn't it? Yeah. Go on. Well, oh, you big head, or, you know. Sure. Oh, I bet you're good at juggling, or. Frog right. twins. Yeah. Can I just interrupt you guys, because we've just had an email here, um, I hate to query you, Carl, and you're educating Ricky section, because I know you put a lot- don't read this, let me just read it for you. Um, just an email here from Olivia, and this has also been corroborated by someone else, I, I forget who, who it was. She was just- she just tuned in, and she just heard you explaining the expression, letting the cat out of the bag. So, sure. Uh, it was all to do with cats that were put in bags yeah. by- by dodgy butchers, <laughs> possibly the 17th century, we're not too sure. <laughs> um, anyway, she claims- well, uh, let me see, she, she says, uh, she uses both the words twaddle and crap, uh, in relation <laughs> In relation to your definition, <laughs> oh. uh, she says letting the cat out of the bag is an old shipping expression from when sailors used to get flogged for their misdemeanours. The cat letting the is cat, the cat of nine it tails, is. Of which uh, is. is a kind of whip thing that you, they used yeah. to keep hanging in a bag below deck. If yeah. it was discovered that a sailor had done something wrong, the cat would be let out of the bag yeah. and he'd get a whipping. Of course, it is. don't let the cat out of the bag. We need to cover something she, up. With she's secret. talking nonsense. No, right? she's not. That's she the is. truth. That's because the, the truth. one I read about that was there's not enough room in here to swing a cat, right? And that was people who worked on a boat. Yeah, well, that's the same well, that's fine, they're the same one. For the they're not going to keep going on about people working on a boat to get those assignments. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have two phrases about the same thing! They're not really going to do with their time. Think how many- just coming up yeah. with stuff Think like how that. many metaphors have birds in them and, you know, uh, uh, it's ridiculous. Why can't you have- you can have as many sounds as you like about anything, Carl. Yeah, There's well, not a rule. Whatever. They don't go, we've made one up about yeah. the cat and nine tails. Well, cheers for that, Oliver. Um, <laughs> Olivia. Olivia. Yeah. Don't, don't see your uh, email coming up with the Rockbusters answers, so <laughs> well, let's, you uh, give, us the answers let's give them out. Uh, the first <laughs> one was, um, you've been dunking that for too long. That yeah. was LB. Uh, Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit. Yeah, got that one. Uh, the third one, we'll jump to that one because you've got it. Uh, well, I've had a rubbish day, so I'm happy it's all over. That was GK. That's a great one. That's Glad, glad it's night. Glad it's night. Glad it's night. That's glad that it's is night. brilliant, Carl. And the one that, uh, you're both having a problem with, uh, you won't be able to play that game in this pub, the table ain't big enough, FD. Go on. Fats Domino. Yeah? What? The dominoes, you play dominoes in a pub, the, the dominoes fat, pub tables are quite small, you won't be able to play that game in this pub. Fats Domino. Rubbish. <laughs> so, do you want to pick a winner? Random rubbish. Winner? Well, winner. you say it's rubbish, but plenty of people got the right answer. Rubbish. Um, Who do you want to go with? The bunch of, um, slightly rubbish prizes <laughs> is, is going to Elliot K <laughs> from Cheekwell in Essex. Uh, well done to Elliot. I, I just, w uh, can, before we go, can we just get an, an email off Anders, because I think he must, well, I think we've probably turned him round with this show. <laughs> I would have thought so. I think he's going to be say saying, coming to us with his tail between his legs, saying, <laughs> sorry lads, a blinding show, I was wrong, you were right. Yep. Yeah. 
Alright. Uh, song for the lovers is very exciting this yeah, week. Yeah, uh, we haven't had a song for the, uh, the lovers or the ladies for quite some time. Let's yeah, combine so, the two. Sorry, and sorry, a bit yeah. of John Martin, May You Never, let's end with Beautiful that this week. Track. We'll see you next time. So, yeah. Bye. Bye.